How long you guys know each other? Uh, Yo, it's after, all. Yeah, after. No, it's um, yeah. After, yeah. We, after we co-wrote the national anthem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this, this guy is Enoch Sotok. <laughs> In every story worth mentioning, there's a mammoth struggle. The greater the struggle, the more worth the story is. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh. We'll see this guy. Okay, no, please, please continue. We'll see Sorry. this guy. Carry on, boss. When he was saying, when there was Zondo happening, yeah! Yeah! there was none of all this. DJ, where's this water from? Are you starting to feel funny? No, no, I'm asking if it's if it's tap water or you know, oh, it's bottle water. Yeah, no. Let's check. A lot of poisoning then. <laughs> <laughs> Robo Pops, I'll be some cheese girl, I'm a cheese boy da. We motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, na my L O L. So we both got gang and we blessed as hell. See a jala story. Pitin I'm a guest and nice said moy. You wanna my bundles, not of choice. Let it some pop pops and robot boys. Popcorn and cheese. 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 Call you all boy like friends like this. Let's go. Oh, that man's sweater looks like an overripe avocado. <laughs> Yar, that sweater looks like an extra in the army camp. <laughs> that sweater looking like a bottle of olive oil made in <laughs> Everton. <laughs> I, I, knew, I knew I was going to say a country most of us have been to. <laughs> a country? Everton. Everton. Everton, Everton. Everton. is a town, not a country. Oh, yeah. there it. You That's thought the weird. soccer team Everton was representing see, a country? See, see. This on. is not how we're supposed to start the year. Sorry, sorry. See, see. Hey, sorry. Our education system is something. It's a problem. Yeah. That's why you guys are here. We need That's something, man. Hey, something needs to happen. Hey, hey, hey. No, man, guys. Hey. We need see, assistance. Man. When is my father, my father playing Everton? <laughs> I know, right? It's like... <laughs> Yeah, hey, so the Everton flag is not yeah. big show. What? Dog, I'm excited for this episode because I feel like we have to fix a lot of things verbally. Yes. yes. Yeah. We are That's... fixing a lot of things verbally. We are fixing a lot of things physically. Internally. We are fixing a lot of things politically. Yeah. We are fixing That's things. Right. 2024 emotionally. Yeah, emotionally. Emotionally. Emotional. No, please. Spiritual. Yeah. All the allies. Financially. Fin- hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on, G. Cheers, Jesus. Jesus. E-wallet. Yes. Ah, cheese boys, cheese girls, and, and the, the cheese gang. Yeah. Happy 2024. Yeah. Yeah. We made it. We made it. We made it. Yeah. Happy New Year. We made it. We made it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. We survived the pandemic. La Lela. We survived looting. Come on. Yes, we survived Ville. Number 100 we shooter. We survived our wives. We survived everything. Number black life. spider. Sila. Call Spigile. Inside. We survived. Hagat. Hagat. Yes. Yo, happy 2024 to all the cheese gang out there. Uh, we wish you all the best for the year. We thought, what a, what a dope way to kick off the year. Yeah. To have two phenomenal minds with us today, ladies mm-hmm. and gentlemen. Before we introduce the dynamic duo known as Popeye and Spinach of Turban. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm joking, ladies and gentlemen. Today, you guys are in for a treat, bro. Yes, sir. Before I introduce them, I want to introduce in the background the man you never get to see because we don't want to scare you guys. In the shadows. Ladies and gentlemen, weighing in at 36 kilograms, please put your digital hands together. Make some noise for Leboa Homu's finest. The man with the questions, the man with the comments, the Beyonce of the group. Titi Chumerik. The Papaberi. Ladies and gentlemen, whether he's plugged in, whether he is electrified, whether he's offline or online, it doesn't change the fact that he is a robot. Descendant of the Decepticons and Megatron's fifth cousin, it gives us great pleasure and honor to introduce to you a man who was born of poetry, decided to venture into dance, is a Guaito piano artist, and of course now one of the best podcasters in Centurion. Hey, English, 
English nearly left me there. Hey. Yeah, Centurion's finest. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the one person who wears a size 14 um, in the whole crew. Mr. Robert Boy. Yes. Robito. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, on that note, green means go. We have to go and keep the show going. But on my left, the man who's wearing a shirt that says stop so that you can pay attention to his amazing haircut. Dressed like a stop sign. It is red and black, but he's always on the move. Jordan on his top, Nike and Jordan on his feet. The president of the Yellow Bone, all-round entertainer, stand-up comedian, but he's sitting down so that you understand him. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise. Pop Pop Pops, Modi Kwane! Oh man! Yeah, mm. uh, yeah. I don't want to be biased because yeah. uh, you know it's it's obvious. Yeah, yeah it's obvious. You guys even look alike. My talk. Hey, that's why I didn't say the president of the Yellow Bones today. Yeah, because the real president. Because the real president is here. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us on the couch today, the dynamic duo. I'm gonna start with the man on my right, your left on the screen, ladies and gentlemen. A man who comes from humble beginnings in Newlands, ladies and gentlemen. He went on to become one of the most prominent businessmen to ever come out of KZN. Dubbed the 50 cents of KwaZulu Natal. Yes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. And together with Tutuzani, because he's another 50 cents, they make a rant. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> he is the mayor. I call him the mayor of KZN. Please put your hands together. Be, uh, hey, behind. Please put your hands together for the one and only, the brains behind the operation, Mr. Winston Ines. Yes. <laughs> And of course, ladies and gentlemen, in the front line, a man who started his journey in exile, dodging tear gas and rubber bullets, <laughs> but he made it. <laughs> in primary school. In primary school. Primary. In primary school. During second break. <laughs> dodging the, the fires. <laughs> Scuffed in with a man who was learning struggle songs in school. While we were doing our school songs, he was singing, Safa, Safa, Senior. You see, he's still struggling. <laughs> inside. <laughs> Outside might be okay, but, but inside, inside he's still there. The struggle continues. <laughs> well, he wakes up sometimes. Take <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, man, one of the most exciting candidates in the political arena yeah. currently. Mm -hmm. A good friend of ours, a good friend of mine. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your digital hands together and welcome to Popcorn and Cheese, the one and only Tutuzani Zuma. Yes. Gents, there's people watching at home, cheese boys and cheese girls who are watching. And your TVs, TVs, they know themselves. Yeah, and <laughs> and your TVs, they know you know, yeah, presenters. Um, there's, there's people <laughs> yeah. out there watching, bro, and they're like, who are these handsome gentlemen sitting on the couch? So please tell us who you are and what it is that you do. My name's Winston Innes. Uh, I'm from... Newlands East Durban. I'm an MD of a petroleum <coughs> company and uh, yeah, good friend to do Duzani. Uh, that's about it. Ah, dope. You know how you know someone is a boss mm. when they're humble. Yeah. Mm. Well, now what do you do? Ah, uh, you know. Ah, yeah, man. Dinya, it's a petrol, it's just the uh, <laughs> 95 for unleaded. I mean, yeah. it's up to you. Let's not let's not fuel the fire here, but <laughs> let's not gas things up. <laughs> if you need some ethanol, you My know I got you. Too. <laughs> the other ones they do nothing. What do you do? I'm an influencer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a... You know when the bio is I'm an like actor. <laughs> Yo, man, nice to meet you, Uncle Winnows. Mm. And of course, uh, ladies and gentlemen, a man who does not look it. I mean, if you thought this man was 26, you were wrong. Let's meet the 48-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, who are you and what it is? What is it that you do? Uh, the name is Tuzani, as you graciously uh, welcomed me. Um, I'm a businessman. Full name, full name, bro. Oh, there's not enough time to, you know, he's got this middle oh, names and it's like, you know, just... Yeah. Uh, no, it's and and you know, Winos, do you, do you have a, a middle name? Makeb. No, 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 no. That's why we're here. We need to know who you are, my brother. Winston. I'm still trying to find out who I am. Yeah. 
Winston Clint Innes. Who? Oh, Clint. Right? Clint. Oh, oh Clint. <laughs> 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 No, no middle names. To Duzani Zuma, that's it. Simple to the point. Businessman and a boss. Week. That's what I do. Yes, that's it. Yes, yeah. yo, gents, welcome to the show, man. Yo. Yeah, welcome to and the show. Shout out I want, for coming through. I want to know, gents, you know, because uh, a lot of people they see windows, they see you, uh, they sometimes see you together, they sometimes see you separately. How did this bromance come along? Well, I was on the side of the road minding my business. <laughs> <laughs> the start of every good tale. <laughs> yeah, I was in Newlands. <sighs> no, no, kidding. We're stuck in Newlands with. So, um, <laughs> I'd go to boxing matches because, you know, I like boxing. Yeah, yeah. Dudzani is also quite an, an avid boxing fan. So we'd meet at tournaments, we'd strike up conversation. Yeah. And I think that's where the friendship, you know, kicked off. And then we liked the same things, yeah. you know. And uh, yeah, from there it was on. <coughs> yeah. That's what it is. Um, some mutual friends in between, yeah. but um, for the better part, organic, it was a natural gravitation to each other. This is not just a friend of mine, I consider him a big brother. Yeah. And it's been a long journey. It's been a long journey. How long you guys it's known been... each other? Um, Yo, it's after, long. Yeah, after. You know, in some um, yeah. Yeah. After, yeah. We, after we co-wrote the national anthem. And... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this guy is Enoch <laughs> <laughs> so That's been, it's been, what's to 15, 16 years now. Yo, that's, yeah. yeah, that's long. Yeah. yeah. That's long. And, and, so this was blow by blow that you were watching, man. Right? <laughs> Boxing. <laughs> no, we used to, to watch it on SABC. It's Sports blow by arena. blow. Yeah. Sports Since arena. You can see the size of these guys. They weren't watching blow by blow. Blow by blow was your size. Yeah. Blow by blow, they always. And what can I lightweight? Wait, at 40 years now, what can I lightweight? Depends about the chest. The sponsor's bigger than the guy. <laughs> Me, <Minolta>. Lolta. Yeah. <laughs> They're fighting for a grocery pack. <laughs> Yeah. Finko, finko. So no, that those that those that uh, that's uh, the background. A very simple, um, nothing elaborate, but we've been in the trenches, been in the wars, and yeah. Yeah. we've seen the development of of each other yeah. and also collectively. So you both you both Durban boys, right? Uh, uh, born and born and raised in Durban. Your mm. family's from Durban. Yeah, yeah, your family's from yeah. Durban. Um, no, no, from uh, well, well, yeah. Nka. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But oh, Durban, yeah. Come on, come on, come Yes, But yes. yeah, from my father's side of the family. KZN region. KZN. Yeah. yeah. Durban, yeah, there's definitely family up there. Um, so, so I wanted to know when I was growing up, were you, is that what you wanted to be? Did you want to be a boxer? Yeah. So, so I was a, a very timid kid. Right? right. I think my dad was worried. Law? I'm going to eat guala. So, when I was six years old, and I was sickly, asthmatic. Six. Yeah, he took me to boxing. Okay. And um, sugar, diabetes, and started training. <laughs> uh, three <laughs> months in, had my first fight, and it was. Wait, uh, three months in yeah. while you were six. Six years old, three months in, had my first fight. I remember the bell going off. Yeah. And then I remember my mom parting me saying, I don't know how to play this. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> <laughs> so <ping. laughs> How much? Yeah. No, don't worry. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. You, know, you know? And, um, and uh, you know, I was very scared mm -hmm. to fight. You know, very scared of being hit. And, and as it started going, I know you're going to think, you think I'm going to say I got less scared. No. <laughs> I was more scared <laughs> because now I had experienced being hit. Yeah. But what it did for me is it, it sharpened my reflexes because I mm. got so much better at evading punches, ducking. What? 
Yeah. Yo, nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> you flex is on stage. You just see it out to you. Still. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I got better at... And then, you know, racked up a whole bunch of hidings. Mm-hmm. And by the time I'm like nine, my dad's like, boy, why don't you try winning? You know? <laughs> 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 Maybe you want to yeah. try. And, and, and the argument he put forward is like, don't you see that these guys can't hit you? And, I was like, and he's like, listen, whether you'd hit back or not, they're still going to hit strike at you with the same intensity. Yeah. But they can't get you. So try, you know? And then one fight, I hit the guy back. He still couldn't get me. And the found more I hit back, the less they were, you know, the less focused they were, the less technical because it took them off their game. And then they just started getting better and better. And then by the time I was 16, like I was piping hot, G. I was that guy. I was like, it's leave that. I used to, the first day of school. Yeah. I was like, hi, my name's Winston Innes, guys. Um I like to introduce myself on the first day of school so that everyone knows, everybody knows what time it is. I think I can hit the whole class. If there's any disputes, we try and get it through the first week. <laughs> Tim <laughs> one. You know what I mean? We don't so want to so yeah. first yeah. week. Well, well, let's just sort it out. But other than that, if you're in agreement, then uh, sure. I'll be sitting in the back of the class. Yeah, any query. Can now after that is so crazy. So uh, by the time I was in like grade seven, standard five, there was another small guy, Basil, Basil Green. I always mention it because he used to say, "Guys, my name is Basil Green. I'm the smallest guy in class. Please don't pick on me because I'm small." Because there's a guy here that you can pick on. Mm-hmm. His name is Winston Innes. He, he sits there. I do the introduction for him now. He thinks he can eat the whole cloth. So, I see there's one or two big boys, so it might be in dispute. Okay. If there's a dispute, please raise it with me. I take it to him. We sort it out the first week of school. He was already and a boxing then, manager. <laughs> so he was <laughs> really you know, Yo, my fight scheduler. I was 17, I was number three in Africa. What? No, yeah, yeah. Well, I was doing the thing. So, so, met Muhammad Ali literally told me I'm the greatest. <laughs> literally. No way. Yeah, that that is so dope. Like, like, the guy, he came, Muhammad Ali came to South Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and they were showing him the young prospects. And it was, it was crazy. So, boxing, I was proper into it, you know. So that is so dope. So, I always say, like, obviously, nah, I don't train, whatever. But for 30 seconds, I can change your life. <laughs> if you don't believe me after the show. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I'm just no. going to find your old classmates and ask yeah. them. For Hi, Daryl. Yes. Heard Yo. you in class with Winston. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, you? Shook, when you so, shake the hand, you can feel it or no. This one is a, it's a fight. <laughs> <laughs> so honestly, yeah, that, that was it. But it did a world of good for, for yeah. confidence. Mm. It did a world of good for, for the type of discipline one needs in life in general. Yep. And also, coming growing up in the colored community, there's a lot of cliques and gangs, and, and you need to be able to handle yourself. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You know, so, so I think that put me in good stead. You know what's, what's, what's great when I'm picking up from, from your story is that even though you got knocked out the first time. Many times. You stood up mm-hmm. and you went back. And I got knocked out And then again. you knocked out again for another three years. <laughs> and then again for another seven years until you were 16 and you started knocking out people. Yeah, yeah. So I think the, the, the biggest life lesson, you know, that one can also take out from, from your boxing journey is the fact that you didn't throw in the towel. You literally stood up and kept going until you got better at it. You know, that, that's an important point even in my business career. Mm-hmm. So so, That's, so, what yeah. I always say to people is fail fast. Yes. Right? Because if you fail 10 times and I get it right one time, right? Let's say you get it right after 10 <clears> times. <throat> you have found 10 other ways to try 
and and overcome this, this challenge. Thing. Mm-hmm. So you know ten other ways it doesn't work, right? Mm-hmm. I know one way that got lucky or got it right. The day this way is blocked for whatever reason, I'm screwed. You now the guy mm. because as soon as I try, you say I I, 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 I tried that mm. it doesn't work. You're already ten ahead it's of there. you. Yeah, I tried. You like I, 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 that other way. Mm. In goes in. You understand? Mm-hmm. And also, remember, the 10 other ways that failed might have failed for the time, mm. but now is another time. Mm. So they could have failed that time, but today they're more likely to, to work. Mm. And you know all these 10 other ways. So I always say to people, fail fast. You know, you know get, get into it, figure it out quickly. Don't fall in love with the hype. Yeah. Don't fall in love with getting it right. Very important. Because you you judge a person, you judge a personality no, by how they deal with challenge. Crocodile. Yes. Yeah. And talking about dealing with challenges. No, no, uh, you're you're saying, you're saying, you're saying, no, 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 finish what you're saying. No, I can see um, DZ is getting gray uh, listening to <laughs> No, is that it too But don't you agree now? With a mohawk. I'm a grown ass man. What do you want from me? <laughs> a grey mohawk. A grey mohawk. Bro, a politics stressing you out. That is not too late to leave. You look like you're tired here. Yeah. Wrong people are natural. 100%. You know what that okay. seven day diet Like shampoo. legends. Like this is not shots. No, no, we can, I can uh, see. I, uh, this is natural. Yeah, extra. I thought I knew that you, Paul. Shots. You can shots. see. Embracing, fine. I'm, in, I'm embracing my development. Oh, man. Can I be honest with you guys? Man? I'm so jealous of people who go gray, bro. Why? Why? Because going gray at a young age is a sign of like wealth. And it, like it's, yeah. a, it's an old wife's tale. But if you were, if you got gray hairs when you were young, people are like, oh, this means you're going to be wealthy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then you see people as you're growing up. Like Tapelum Gwena started going gray at the age of 22. I mean, he's, <laughs> <Father Christmas. laughs> yeah. he's playing Father Christmas <laughs> now, <laughs> dog. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't be the reference for Father no, Christmas a, now. He's such a dope dude, actually. Shout out yeah, to you know what I mean. So you always see everyone has a little bit of who's Lungsta started going grey back yeah. in the Buzu days. You know what I mean. So it's actually I'm I'm jealous. Rather grey than you know I have a yeah 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Robot, yeah. robot boy yeah. is yeah. So out of all of us is the is the one. Oh, I'm seeing Mohawk boy. No, I'm saying in terms of receding hairline, I think you're gonna be the first one. No, nah, not in my jeans. Is it? No. Hey, me, is, I think it's me, eh? My grandfather died with full hair. Let me see. <laughs> but when, every oh, poor guy I know says that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the weirdest podcast I've ever Every no, I got you. I, I got know, you. <laughs> pulls out the grandfather. Yeah, my grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> but, but this is your. Oh. Yeah, but your, gra- dad still, your, your yeah. grandfather wasn't that legend. Yeah. Spray painting his hair every week. Yeah. <laughs> you start saying, but you, you're not really related. This is a, a step brother. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, back in the day, there was no Nimrod. We couldn't do DNA. Uh-uh. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, in. So I want to come to you, Zani, you know, um, Winston's told us a little bit about like his upbringing and and the challenges he kind of faced, right? To to a lot of people who see you, who watch you, they have a preconceived idea of you and how you were raised. According to the typical man on the street, you grew up in a castle. Uh, you know, your life was nice the whole time. You you lived a very sheltered life. You went to the best schools. You've had all the opportunities in the world. Some might think you used to herd cattle back in Nkandla. You know what I mean? What kind of life did you have from origin to the point where you you got to where you are today? Uh, it's been a life on the run, basically, from then and up until now. <clears throat> so being born in exile, there's people have got different stories. There's some that may have been born in Europe, in Asia, mm-hmm. The U.S., whatever the whatever the, the need dictated at the time, and others in Africa. Yeah, you know, as much as people were going through some tough times in within South Africa, there was people who were stationed outside. Um, you're talking about the people that 
were fighting for our development, our freedom. Yeah. And I always look at it as a privilege to have been born outside of South Africa, to South African parents. And the reason for that is it's given me a whole outlook, completely different outlook to to what life is, what society is, what mind frame is, um, what frequency is from different people. Yeah. So growing up in countries like Mozambique, Zimbabwe, Zambia, um, and then living in other places in different parts of the world up, up until now in my my ripe old age <laughs> well, of 41. <laughs> um, the lessons that have been taught, when I say on the run, is I've never had a chance to settle. There's never been a good few years where I've sat and just enjoyed whatever it is that I needed to enjoy. Life, trappings, family, because it was always on to the next one. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at friendships, there's, you know, I envy people that have, yo, yo I grew up with this dude. I've known him since he was four. Mm -hmm. I don't have that. <laughs> I don't know where most of these guys are. Um, <laughs> uh, why, why are you laughing at this <laughs> most of the Zimbabwe guys? So so yeah, yeah. I'm, speaking, moving around. I'm speaking emotion this man is, is having a good chuckle. What's going on, Titi? Titi, an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and he's done. And, oh, and he forgets so laughing. He's also from Zimbabwe. And he's laughing. I'm not from Zimbabwe. Would, the name Zit is from Zimbabwe. Carry on. <laughs> anyway, me, me, I'm here for you. Naftal. Lebo Naftal. Anyways, um, the moving. Mm -hmm. Constant. Constantly. Yeah. As has created, at least in, in my being, the strength to, the willingness to adapt. I'm mm -hmm. an adapting mm -hmm. kind of person. Mm -hmm. You know, when they say adapt or die, I'm poster child for adapting. I've had to 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 adapt multiple times in in my life. As we speak now, I'm I'm I'm, I'm adapting. You know, I'm referring morphing into the what they're morphing into, into like a young into a, a politician. A and now um, <laughs> I can <laughs> well, uh, well, uh, well, uh, well uh, now that I have morphed into this new uh, <laughs> well. Uh, that development has been probably my my superhero power. Wherever yeah. in the world you place me, I'm able to adapt. Mm -hmm. In the middle of Caucasiaville, in the middle of Tutsis and Hutus, in the middle of of Hindus, and you name it, I could be in. I'm able to adapt yeah. Yeah, because it's 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 being able to to have grown up around an environment where there's different people, different cultural backgrounds, um, different traditions. Um, races, religion, and you know, if you look at the Mozambican story where I grew up, it was, I mean, initially and then the um, developmental stages of my life, it was an international school, you mm -hmm. know, where it was people from different parts of the world. Um, mm -hmm. So the silver spoon um, Narrative. paintbrush, yeah, mm -hmm. that, that, that people like painting, is the furthest thing from from the truth. It's been it's been hard. Um, we understand later on in life when we look back at, at the struggles. And you know, when you look back as an adult, you know, we all, okay, not all of us, some of us are, um, you definitely parents. And you look back and you're like, there's certain things that you've seen, you've heard conversations where you're like, okay, that's what that was. Yeah. That's what that meant. Yeah. And um, how was that emotionally for you? Like going through all those adaptations and I'm sure most of them were, were something that you didn't choose to have to go through. Sure. It, it's, 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 it's tough, you know, mm. as, as. As a, like anyone else, as someone coming up as as a, a young buck, you know things. Understanding that you know the situation in the home is is, is difficult. You mm -hmm. know, not being able to just go to the kitchen and open up the fridge. You know, there's rules. You know, over a period of time, you realize, oh, actually, it wasn't because of anything, but parents are trying to shield the difficulties of the time. Mm -hmm. You know, as opposed to to what they are now. So those sorts of things are uh, experiences that you know, as as an as an elder, as a parent, I look at and. What it's done for me emotionally has been able. It's been I've been able to tune myself in um, into understanding what the upbringing and how that has transpired into to who I am in society now. You know, it's not a final product, but it's something that that um, I'm definitely working on. Um, not from wealth, not from um, poverty as well. You know, mm -hmm. it was just regular Joe stuff just outside of the country. It was tough because you'd see things that you're not supposed to see, um, being on the move and you only understand them late in life. You know, okay, people are actually fighting for a reason. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't just mm -hmm. us, you know, just 
We were not diplomats, you know, moving around. Mm. You know, we're not, you know, wealthy people just trying to have a, a global experience. You're surviving. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. So I'm, I'm, I'm the time when, when initially when you asked me to introduce myself, you know, that's why I'm saying I'm a boss. You know, I'm not trying to sound like I'm trying to be too, you know, up there fancy. Mm-hmm. But I've earned my stripes. I sit here today. I've, 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 I've walked experiences that you know some people may not have walked. Yeah, and I'm mm-hmm. able to stand on my own. Do you think your your experience growing up is what also developed your love for people? The fact that you got to live with so many different people and understand so many different lives. Most most definitely, Um <clears throat> Excuse me. If you look at the experience, and and I think that goes for all of us. And I always I always say we're all born as 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 people as black people. We're born from the same pool. Yeah. You know, and that pool is generally surrounded by a lot of poverty. Uh, we've all seen. I don't care who you are, where you're from, whichever part. Black person, growing up, um, we've seen it. If it's not firsthand, it's secondhand, thirdhand, but family, friends. And we've stayed in other people's places where other people come and stay with us. You know, yeah. we've seen we've seen the situation and you need to adapt. And he's got his own stories as well as, 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 as he's related uh, to me. And you learn to understand that a lot of the, the experiences we have are, are transient when it comes to the people we meet. And unless you're able to adapt to meeting new people, living with, with, with people you don't know, because you'll be sitting there the next thing you've got a family friend, a cousin who comes to stay with you. And you say, okay, cool, now he's going to be here for a few days. All right, cool. Three years later, <laughs> it's like, yo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's you know, any black like family. No, 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 but that's, you know, it, yeah, is, yeah. It, is, it, is it a normal experience for, for, for some people? No. Yeah. But for most of us, <laughs> we've, we've come across it. Uh, but it's something that you, you 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 learn to 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 understand and be like, yo. And that has definitely been something that shaped my my mind frame for um, tolerance, for understanding of of, mm. of of people who who come and go. Mm. And when I was with with you growing up, you know, um, this uh, obviously failed boxer as a child, <laughs> and then becoming a legendary boxer <laughs> as you grow up. What was the political climate in KZN when you were growing up? And what did you want to be? So you, you wanted to be a boxer, right? Um, and then where, where did it change? Where did, the, where, where did the trajectory change? And when did you decide to follow a new path? And would you say it was uh, fueled by the climate? See what I did there? Fueled, fueled, I see. fueled by the climate that you were, that you were growing up in. So... These challenges are what I call the privilege of struggle. Mm-hmm. And I call it a privilege because your success is relative to your struggle. And I mm-hmm. always say this. Mm-hmm. I say, if you were born successful, let's say your dad gives you 10 million. Yo, on I, your birth. I wouldn't be here today. Right? <laughs> you worked your way, right? <laughs> now you're at 12. Are you really successful? People say, ah, you could have just kept that money in the bank. All these investments were, mm. were nonsense. It would have accumulated, right? Mm. So, but if you were born with nothing uh-huh. and now in the bank you had 500,000, you, you made it, right? Because your, your success is relative to your struggle. So that's why I call that the privilege of struggle. And in every story worth mentioning, there's a mammoth struggle. Mm-hmm. The greater the struggle, the more worth the story is. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right? Right? Mm-hmm. So, so today we know the David and Goliath story. Because first thing we hear is how big Goliath, Goliath was. was. Mm-hmm. Right? And then we uh, no, David only had a sling and a stone, right? Mm. Goliath for those who... <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, must be pleased. For the, for, the, for, the, for, the cheese, for the cheese gang, that's no. all the way in pubs. Talk to them. Talk to them, talk to them, fellas. To the cheese gang in Cebu gang, uh, Goliath is Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Not the comedian. Yeah. <laughs> Not Jason. No. Not Jason. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so every story that's worth mentioning is, is a story... About challenge, right? So, so I tell people, even if you you speak, City is added again. <laughs> <laughs> what you said was it's fine. Like, yeah, so I'm gonna love to laugh. Right, this new regime of politics is not the one. No. <laughs> You're going against laughter. Everything is a point of order. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
<laughs> yes, yes, so, widows. So even <laughs> Sorry. if you 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 go through my my boxing story, right? So I I turn professional, I get a sponsor, get a car. At that time, you needed to go to to go to trial to turn professional. Mm-hmm. From when I was 18, they started calling me up. Listen, you just have to sign. This is the deal. Mm-hmm. I get a GTI. GTI. The, the Golf 2. What? I out on a Friday night with my friend. He buys a Cortina. Run, run, run. Some irresponsible driving. Drag racing. Fractured pelvis, punctured lung, broken ribs. Mm. You're out. Career's done. Done. Doctors are like, I forget it, boy. It's over. I'm like, yeah, but I don't have a plan B, guys. <laughs> sure. I didn't plan for, you know, you lose sponsorship, everything. I said, no. Doc, what's the chance that I'll, you know, be able to see this? Just walk, we'll be impressed. We'll say, ah, you made it. That probably just struggle thing. We just we just want you to walk. <laughs> that when was you say, walk? Yo, I was my pelvis was fractured in like four play. Yo, it's like serious. It was a serious problem. That's how his pelvis looked like that was <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Robert, please join a bit in the box. Pelvis. We work with exhibits out here. Line That's how Winston's pelvis. Winston's was. pelvis was <laughs> beyond repairs. <laughs> he said four pieces here, we've got three pieces. Beyond repairs is what it was, but we are in the studios called Beyond the Eyes in Centurion. You know what it is. Beyond the <laughs> Eyes. Dr. Lindsay. <laughs> Pop ups. So now I'm out. I'm like, no, guys, I don't have a plan B. Let me let me figure this out. It takes me about three years. Yeah. Back in the gym proper. But now I'm gone from like number one to number 20 something, you know, start fighting again. I'm number eight. I'm number four. Three, two, number one in the country. We're going to fight for the title. It's all good. We made it back to one. We're back. My friend Zani is coming down from Joburg to see me. It's Friday the 13th, February, before Valentine's Day. We're about to paint the town red. It's going down. That, yeah. 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 Friday the 13th, Valentine's Day, paints on red. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which Valentine was this? I'm painting. <laughs> there's a very specific Valentine. <laughs> we don't talk about it <laughs> in South Africa. <laughs> I'm going ah. to see people. You know what I mean? I hit the hood. Dog. That interruption deserves an Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you were saying Uncle Wilma. <laughs> I, I can't stand, stand you guys. <laughs> 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 Which one is this one? Sure. Winston's story has legs. Let him finish. Oh, goodness, guys. <laughs> please notice I'm the only one that hasn't said anything, so please. And me. Through. I'm just sharing my story. <laughs> 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 Oh, no I get, more. I get to the. Don't the, come shooting down my door. Ah! <laughs> ah. This is the weirdest no, podcast ever. Go, couldn't I? Couldn't. <laughs> guys, please, sorry, sorry. guys, you're on your own now. Till we all ah, guys, okay. I'll continue. <laughs> my side, really. <laughs> so, um, see, he started this whole thing. I jump out. All right. Mm-hmm. Myself. It's Friday the 13th, getting ready for the big fight. The design is coming to watch you. Get out the car, feeling yourself. Guys is like, ah, this guy overrated. What, what, what? I'm like, hey, yo, uh, I'm not really. We can. Pulls out the gun, he shoots me. Boom. Ooh. Through the pocket. Now, if you know, if you've grown up in a colored community, mm-hmm. you know. Through your pocket is your heart. If you get hit in the pocket, it's tickets. Boom, boom, this guy hits me. I'm like, what? And the crazy thing about being shot, 
act or were you wearing a pointer t shirt or BVD? <laughs> what, 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 what. <laughs> no, he was giving him a towel. You can tell their boys. <laughs> oh, like, he was giving him a towel. He was giving him a towel. And I almost died. Did you see Jesus or not? Oh, talk is a similar story. You saw a light and you walked away. But this, I'm going to give it to you. Like as is, yeah. Funny thing about someone shooting at you. This is crazy. So they shoot, right? You see a flash. You hear the bullet. Then you hear bang. That's how real it is. I see another flash. My mind said, you're being shot at. I hear the bullet pass me. I'm like, shoot. Yeah, bang. Another. What? This guy is going in. At that time, I'm like, yo, I have to return fire. I only have like a few. Did I your can, boxing training come in? I can, you, were you slipping the bullets? Um, <laughs> no, we need to check. Uh, the oh reflexes. This guy. Oh, so, you can you see this guy. Roll. Oh, you see this guy. My bad. No, please, please continue. You see Sorry. this guy. Carry on, boss. When he was saying, when there was Zondo happening. <laughs> <laughs> With the nicest suit <laughs> and the best English. Oh well, you know, I have all the files. You know, he was even walking right. <laughs> This you guys, yeah, no, there was nothing. There was none of this. There was none. Oh, all this. That's going on here with popcorns. You guys are so crazy. <laughs> yo, yo. Oh, man. So, nah, this is too dope. So, I, dope, I had the way with all to draw my firearm. So, I shoot back. Just. Yeah. But this is the, the third time now. No, this, this you already shot like shot. three times. He, sh- no, he shot at me. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Six times. Oh, and he's hit me once. But this guy has hit me through my heart, guys. <laughs> like, I'm angry. I'm sad. You got confused. I'm like, my shot is so dope. <laughs> it's Valentine's. I'm number one in the country. You are right. <laughs> We're sorting out. This in this life or the next. So I give him a ticket just to like a how train. Mm-hmm. Shoop, fired at him. Gone. I, I sell the guys, get me to the hospital. On the way to the hospital, now I'm like, oh, let's <laughs> give these guys my bank pen now. You must move. The little bit of money out because when I'm dead, it's going to be frozen. That's a, you're thinking of arbitrary mm. things, but you can feel it. You're still thinking of bank pins and not the gates. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna <laughs> mean, like, no, I'm he's thinking mother. of the bank pins because of the gates, because he's thinking, I need to move money out because I'm gonna die. Oh, and he's so, the only one that knows the shirts. Yeah, yeah. okay. You okay. know, so, so I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking. at least it'll help the family quickly. Yeah. You know? Beyond the grave. Yo, get to the hospital. I'm on the bed, getting wheeled in. The scat's getting wheeled in. You guys are going to the same hospital? Yeah, it's the closest. We both shot. I started lifting to I was on the shot. And the name of the hospital is called the Heart Hospital. Yeah. Brand new. It just opened up, strangely enough. Yeah. Strange but true. No, that's true. No, okay, okay. No, no, no. So that's crazy. I'm looking at this guy. I'm like, I eat badly. Let me turn. At least I had thin to turn. Mm. Can't be looking at the guy who shot me. Yeah. Being like he's staring at me. So they hook us up to the heart machine. So I can hear. Like that, that is so crazy. Is like crazy. I hear them shocking him. Like, fuck. I'm like, oh, this cat looks like he is not going to make it. He's flatlined. Steed. Okay. This has gone. Now all the doctors move on to me. I say, doc, just give it to me straight. <laughs> Am I going to make it? Doctor says, I'm surprised you can talk. I said, okay, this is serious. As that's happening, Zani walks in. I can see the shock and horror on his, on his face. <laughs> so I'm just trying to light. I said, Zani, see what they did to my shirt. <laughs> he doesn't laugh. 
No, because they, 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 they cut it open. Of and course. And he was for, wearing, remember those high collared BE shirts? Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was new, chief. The three buttons, yeah. You know, those with the one. colors. <laughs> and when a bros are short and they think about their t shirts, <laughs> what, what are we doing? My thought, so, he just got it out of play by. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> Did it say champ and number one? It was signed by Ali or something. So a friend of mine is like, so a friend of mine, he's been shot and stabbed a lot of times. So he knows how to read the machine. So he comes in, he says, hey, Winston. Uh, oh, wow. Hey, Winston. They need to uh, go into your lung because I can see your breathing is affected. He says, hey, I said, hey, just take my watch. He's like, hey, okay. Hey, if you die, this is a nice one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it. I'm telling you now, if you die, your watch is gone. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way. So I just wear a ring also. So I'm like, yo, just keep my ring. He's like, no, don't take up a ring. That's bad. Like, you die. <laughs> I, like, put it back. I'm like, hey, let me hold it. So, so this guy, so doctors are like, yo, you need to get out that this guy kicks up such a ruckus. So they leave him in. But he keeps me going. He's like, Winston, now they need to go into your line. Because... So I'm like, hey, doc, when are you going to do it? He says, now. I said, is it going to be so? I, while I'm saying that, um, shangale, like a long shot. That did not leave him. Yeah. Mm. I'm like, then he puts the pipe in. But as he does that, <gasps> I can't breathe. So my friend Nathan says, you see, I... Now nah, nah, your, your vitals are better. Yeah. And so the other guy, not going to make it. So don't say anything now because the cops are outside. I know how this goes, you know. And then this is happening. The cops come in, you know. They want to see what's going on. So it's like this is everything's happening. They're like, did you really shoot this guy? I'm like, yeah. They're like, okay, we'll discuss it. So I'm giving you yeah. an overview of it's not a straight line, guys. Yeah. Now I'm number one. Now I'm number naught. Mm. Number no, twice. Ah. Twice. Second time. Yes, yes guys. But you, but you know what I like about, especially the way you guys speak, is like you speak from an honest perspective, which is very relatable, which is something that I miss from a lot of, uh, you know, politicians it's like they've become unrelatable in a funny way because it still looks like my elder still looks like the person i care about but they they monopolize conversations more than more than actions you know like sure. i feel like a lot of political parties yeah. now make so much money or so much impact off of conversations sure. and 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 dealing with things conversation yeah you know but you know they say you, yeah. After all is said and done, more is always said than done. Yeah. Ooh. Bars. That's for my own talk show, but yeah. I <laughs> see. I, coming to ETV soon. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <SNBC4>. <laughs> Punchlines by <laughs> Winston. Um, um, bit that you're saying, Titi, is I fully agree. Because yeah. what's happened is they've yeah. monopolized the microphone yeah. so mm. no one else can talk. It's only them and it's the... The, the the message that they're trying to get across, which yep. is a very outdated message. And more importantly, they they believe they've monopolized wisdom and wisdom coming with age, mm -hmm. meaning you're not wise unless you are in your 60s, 70s, which is the biggest load of cow in you. That's, that's, that's my view. Yeah. And, and I think just to add to that, you know, mm -hmm. Duzani always says we have to move politics from the politics of desperation to the politics of inspiration. So mm. we need to inspire our people to take this game to the next level. Yes. Inspire our people. Yeah. To, we got this. You know what I mean? We have to move away from the attitude that says someone's coming to save us. We those guys that are coming to the save saviors. us. Yeah. Mm. Yeah? You literally had to save yourself. Yeah. Brother. Your friend also. Is he My not brother. a doctor, that friend? Is his name Matthew or he's just... <laughs> ah. 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 He, knew, he knew everything ah. inside the thing. Ah. Hey, your lungs. Ah. So you say that's where it started. <laughs> 
I saved Winston's life. <laughs> I can do this forever. <laughs> he was the brood there. <laughs> so you need to check your so, levels. So you, 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 we, we have to do it. And for me, even the next journey, the next chapter that was business, right? Yes, because this is because obviously this was like two, two, two attempts at at going for the championship. The back to zero, yeah. and this is where you ventured into business. Into business, right? And and you started I at had zero. No idea about business. Like when I told my dad, "Okay, dad, I, I'm going to do business." <clears throat> He said, eh? I said, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do business. He said, I, I, go call your mother. I, I can't understand what you're saying because business, there's no one in our family who's ever, that, who do you know that's in business, right? So my mom, I tell my mom, she says, but your dad's a welder. The older brother is a boiler maker. You can be a welder. Or you Rippen, can be a boiler maker. maker. Mm. We tried boxing. You keep breaking your body. <laughs> Things are happening. <laughs> Maybe boxing is not going to work, you know? So so I said, yeah, but those two aren't for me. I'm going to figure out the boxing thing. And I made a list of all the people I knew that had gone into business from the area I was from. And I just went to see them, right? And yes, breaking through that initial engagement, you know, people want recognition because they've achieved in their lives and they want to let you know that they know that they've achieved, right? Mm. But when you get past that, they all have overarching uh, um, characteristics. That yeah, 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 yeah. One, they have a heightened sense of optimism. It's heightened, mm -hmm. right? Two, they have, and I'm, I use this word purposely, they have an unrealistic sense of what they're going to achieve. Yes. It is unrealistic to you. Yes. Because you saying, I will, tell me again. Mm. <laughs> you want I, to be president of what? what? <laughs> oh. You understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's number two. And number three is, they have the discipline and courage to follow through. Mm -hmm. That's those were the three overarching, right? But one said something that I found <clears throat> vitally important. He said, Winston, for me, tell me that you have a scarce skill. Like there's no one who, who can do this. Like you, you're so smart, you invent teeth. Like before you, people used it to, wasn't, yeah. you know, does mash it their food you, or something. Unique, uh, you invented teeth, now people chew. Uh, uh. I said, eh, I'm not that guy. <laughs> you know? He said, number two, you, an intellectual, you know, you, you, you're a doctor, lawyer. There's a, there's a competency that you, you, you provide to society, there's a skill set you provide, you know, the professional. So number three is people. I said, what do you mean? The people one kind of sounds interesting. He said, everything you want to achieve, someone has the power to give it to you. They give it to you for mm. currency. That but is currency powerful. is not always money. He said, I said, what do you mean? He said, Currency can be relationships Currency can also. be relationships, can be... When you see a lady, she doesn't give you money, but you're willing to do things, you're willing to go all the way because she makes you happy. That's a currency. <clears throat> someone makes you feel good. That's a currency. The relationship you have with someone, whether it's friendship, whether it's brotherhood, whether it's loyalty, is a currency. Mm. So if you are able to tap into that thing, that the other person sees as a currency, yeah. you're They're good. Investing. And value sure. is in the other person's mind. You might think you're valuable. You might think you're the guy. Remember, the other person has to believe that as well. Yeah. So the other person says, no, this is valuable to me. So understand that. And I think when I 
fixated on that and I said, okay, let me let me let me go into this thing with the idea of working with people. Business did 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 well, right? And I want to quickly get to the Duduzani and why yes. I felt, you know, because brother, please understand that when you have a vision or when you <clears throat> see something, not everyone else sees it, sees it right? the same way also. <clears throat> so I'm just going to fast track. So I meet Duduzani. It's a, it's, it's a desperate time. You know, he's going through quite a lot. His dad's getting arrested. We being told by the media that uh, President Jacob Zuma was in prison at the time is the worst guy ever, a rapist. If he takes over the country, it's Armageddon. It's, it's over, right? So we friends, we kick it off. From there, his dad becomes president. Duzani's working on stuff. He's been working on business stuff. Business, just by virtue of trial and error, starts to everything goes well, right, for him? Um, and it really goes well. It doesn't just go marginally well. I mean, Duzani was 33. His business was worth $50 billion, would it be? Hiring 74,000 people. Okay. You understand? Okay. okay. So, Ronaldo, you understand? You understand? <laughs> so, 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 I'm saying it because people like to just act like, I wear Zama, it's like shop, nah, nah. No, I'm a no vogue, Angie. Winston, the cameraman stopped listening after you said 50 billion. Yeah. He, he oh, changed so you just said it fast. You <laughs> said, <laughs> I thought it was million or something. <laughs> billion. Just, it's a big. No. His yeah. company was worth 50 billion. He hired. 74,000 people. He was in mining, media, uh, everything. Defense, yeah. technology. The guy was yeah. there, right? And he'll speak about that. So I just want to give you an overview of where I'm coming from yeah. with this guy, right? Mm. The jets are out. Helicopters are out. The sports cars are out because it was that good and, and things are great. And if you're doing great, it it's reflects, okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know where this thing comes from is that if things are bad, you are fine. If you are good, you are Something's sold wrong. out. Yeah. So guys, do you want us as blacks to do good or not? Decide. <laughs> like, we are scared to do well. You are scared to do well. You know, so we need to fix up that, that, that story because you won't, you won't attract what you despise. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. You hate rich people or you hate people who are doing well, but you hope to want to do well. It. Also, you, uh, which one is that? Oh, that's so true. Not you, yeah. Yeah. you can't. I, I, it's like a guy who doesn't like kids. You, 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 the kids also don't like you. Oh, come to Uncle Winston. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. You understand? That's such a crazy analogy. You, it's a you crazy pick up analogy. the child, the child is screaming, <laughs> As pop takes a child, oh, you, <laughs> you understand? You don't, you will never attract That's what you don't like. There's guys like pops who like girls. He's not tricked, uh. but they like him back. This <laughs> one, <laughs> he's not. <laughs> <laughs> He's not an oil painting, but they like him back. You, you, you don't like them because you are like me with me. Like, like you are the most like queen. I never seen the most. And they see you. I let. You understand? Yeah. You you cannot attract mm. what you despise. Yeah. You cannot. You. Despise successful people that you want to be successful. Hang on, guys, not gonna happen. This we'll talk about that on another show. You'll bring me back another day. Yeah. <laughs> but but so, you, sorry, sorry to sorry to cut you. Like, you know what I like about you guys? You don't have the trauma that these politicians have. Like these bros went to exile or not. Obviously, I appreciate that and, and it, it worked for us and it, we are grateful for but we can't be grateful every day. Every day we see, yeah, I said, I Chief, to, like, you we, cannot raise a child it's, it's, on it's, what you fed him last month. He was an exile. But as a child. <laughs> See, no, guys. All you had to do was hide under the, was, the table. You cannot raise a child on what you fed him last month. 
Mm. Hey. I understand. I, this child, pa. Pop's got a, pa. a kid. He can't say, hey, this child, for the last four years, I've been feeding her and everything. Now, this month, I'm no more doing it. She must Carry live on off. With, yeah. that. Mm. No, no, guys. Can't. It, it's continuous, right? Mm. And as you stop, you are no longer fit for purpose because you must service the relationship, right? Mm. But let's park that. We're coming here to do yes, 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 yes. So things are great. You know, he's doing his thing. I'm in awe of this guy. Yo, this guy is doing the most. Then one day I'm sitting with him, an email comes in. Uh, we're going to freeze your account and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, when they say freeze, can you go to the bank, take your money? Quickly before the... Do you, do you put it in a van? no. no. No, no, no. There's no defrost there's, process. There's no. <laughs> Frozen, <laughs> right? Still today. Yo. So 2014. Wait, wait. We're going to come back to that. Yeah. No, we're going to come 2014, back to that. 2014, they freeze the guy's account. Now, <laughs> you were a billionaire yesterday. End of 2015. Yeah, mm. 2015. I get the, the, chief, the, the they, freeze, come for you, they freeze the accounts, right? <laughs> so you were a billionaire. Now you... What's a zero? What, what's a person who has... A centenaire. <laughs> no, no, no. Sends are numbers. Some... You are zero net. Yeah. <laughs> you see, because understand, you have what you have in your pocket. Now, my brother, that is a traumatic experience. For yeah. any human. Mm. Now, I'm looking at my boy. This is, I just said, for a reason, you were in the jets, you were in the helicopters, because it was like that. Today, we are in the mall and I'm trying to get this cat suits because he needs to go to meetings and maybe he needs to uh, leave the country. Sure as hell did not fit in his, but I mean, that's... <laughs> okay. And he needs to leave the country. So so that serious, that traumatic, yeah. you know? Duzani leaves the country. He figures it out. Two, three years, I go see him in Dubai. Two years, he's back on his feet. Now, guys, Duzani doesn't have accounts from 2015. You have accounts. You can't, your, your, your debit orders are bouncing with accounts. <laughs> you can't park the car. <laughs> you can't park the car. Why are you parking? But you cannot. You cannot. cannot. This <laughs> This guy bounces back. And I'm like, yo, okay, this guy's different. Mm. I mean, I mean, this is now different. So I, I go to Dubai. <laughs> and, and, and I'm like, yo. That's your Avenger name. <clears throat> yeah. And I'm like, listen, you need to come back to South Adapted. Africa because, Adapted. you know, After I, nine. I genuinely <laughs> feel <laughs> you're the Moses of our time. Most, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, hey, Chief, I'm enjoying here. <laughs> you want me to go? Did you not see what those people did? I'm like, no, Chief, forget that. This is bigger than you. It's bigger than me. Yeah. You know, you, you got to do it. Now, if anyone knows to design it, uh, Pops, no, guy does not like limelight. Attention. Attention. Yeah. He, that's not his vibe. So I'm... Now, telling someone that this is what you're going to do when you're going to be in the limelight consistent. You know, we speak about it, speak about it. I, I eventually convince him. We decide, okay, let's go to Obama. We get to Obama, we tell Obama, that, hey, Baba, we think Tuzani is ready. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. Oh, oh wow. I was just laughing. Ah, pops. pops. <laughs> ah, pops. That's what he said. We say we think he's ready. <laughs> he says, <laughs> ready for what? We say, uh, to be president. Mm. Mm. He says, hey, yeah, you know, the, the youth league has been. We, we like, no, Baba. Tuduzani is. At the time, like 39, 30. No, we mean <laughs> the craze, not the youth. Mom. Not the youth, youth league, the youth league leader mom, of the yeah. president. How old is the youth league leader now? Of the country. Yeah. The, the youth day. league leader is like my 49. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Obama, 
Obviously, you don't expect for someone to say, yes, 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 you're right. Mm-hmm. Mm. So from Push back. there, we set out on the journey, right? And one of the other things is, you listen, people are like, no, now you must go to the elders. We're like, guys, you, we went to Ubaba because he's our father. Our elder. Yeah, mm. right? But the truth is, The power is always with the people. They'll say who they want. Mm-hmm. Why are we going to lead it? No, no. The, this was always with the people. Mm-hmm. Somehow people subverted the will of the people. Sure. Let us present ourselves to, to our constituency, mm-hmm. to the people. And the people Let will them decide. decide. Mm. Okay, but what do you think about this group? And I said, hold on, guys. We can't. We're in an interview, right? The people are going to be our bosses. Now we're talking about the other guys who also want the same job. Do you go to an interview and you start saying, hey, I heard Pops applied for this job, but don't take him, Yazin. Me, not that guy. Sure. You cannot. Mm. Don't waste your time. Speaking about the other, other guy people. who also exactly. wants to the present, same job. To Let's talk you about who you what are. value you can add and what you can bring to the situation. So that's an overview of how we got here. Yeah. So it's not just some cheese boys, nyana, thinking there's a whole smash and grab. And the truth of it is we don't need politics. We don't need tenders. That's not where we at. Mm-hmm. We feel that come at, you know, the hour come at the man. It's that time that not only me, not only Tutuzani, all of us need to get involved for our country, for ourselves, for our people, It's for our future, kids, yeah. for a legacy. Sure. We all need to be there. So you saying, hi, these guys, no. You're part of the problem if you're saying that. Mm. Because we are saying, let's open the gene pool here. Let someone say, I, I think to design, I, I can do better than that's what we want. That's the conversation the we want to have, yeah. right? That Because is so powerful. Because we're saying, we do it, we set it up, and we go. Skills come in. Mm. Right now, it seems to be a, a group. It just bounces around. You get fighters, premier. You're an uh, MEC. Uh, How? We just move it, yeah. You you're a CEO, now you're a cleaner in the same business. Same salary. Um, you understand? <laughs> yeah. Same salary, yes. yeah. Do you know you understand? You, you, you are there. deputy, whatever, then now you're a minister. Yeah. You, yeah. Uh, guys, come on. Come That on. is so come hectic. On. Everyone, and this is not a problem I know or everyone knows. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And I liken it to being in a bus. There are people in this bus who can drive. We can see the driver is drunk. The bus is wearing off the road. I say, hey, mm. can you, you drive? You, you say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say, hey, got, got the, the driver is under pressure. I think he's drunk. Why don't you take over? You say, hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to get involved. This thing's messy. Yo. Can you see the cliff there, my friend? We, we, keep, we keep going closer to the cliff. So that's Maybe how we cliff. gotten. See what I did right there. Oh. oh. No, no, so, that's, why I say, that's why I say me, I'm ready for President at Twang. So, <laughs> so that's those, how know, we got uh, to. They steal, eh? Bunch to education. Yeah, you know. Race so, but before <laughs> I say I monopolize the mic or wisdom, yeah. I want to give it back to uh, a chair. Just, just uh, yeah, touch upon yeah, on yeah, that sorry, point sorry. of order. You know? <laughs> <laughs> on a point of order, chair. Dumelang San Bonani Absheni Henda Pidipidi. Welcome to PNC News. As always, I am Tabiso Di Rupitsanyoha, aka Tops on News. 
in breaking stories, ladies and gentlemen. What a time to be alive. What a time to be a South African. South Africa, we love you. Our beautiful friend. Let's show the whole world world. We can bring pieces in our land. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, 2024 has started off with a bang and harder bang. Ribua kasepatlejo, samuto o shabileng ki drikas duplessis. Drikas, van ons hier bij die PNC nies, ons het gesê, ons is baie gelukkig van jou en wat jy het gedoen. Congratulations van die middleweight title gekry van UFC 7200. Ja, om o shabile. Kasi Afrikaners, he het om gemoer. Talking about winning things as South Africans, we move over to a team who has let us down many, 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 many times. But luckily, Barre, where there's a disguise, there's a way. Sundowns disguised as Bafana Bafana went into Afcon to go and uh, conquer the giants of the continent. Ha <laughs> ha! Little did we know that the man who goes by the name of Pesi Daumukhali made sure that he redeemed himself after scoring a penalty after missing the other one. Ralebocha Petris Motsepe, Ralebocha Sundowns, Ralebocha Bafana Bafana. Well done, Pesi Ralebocha. Our faith has been restored. Sales have gone up of the Bafana Bafana t shirt. Makams have reported a spike of 7%. People are gathering to buy the t-shirts again. Rale boha, boys. On other news, uh, if there are three moments that made us proud as a country, ladies and gentlemen, it definitely has to be winning the Rugby World Cup consecutively. Consecutively to those from Sebuking uh, is twice. With uh, Sia Kolesi lifting the trophy twice. And of course, uh, South Africa defending Palestine and of course Drikas Duplessis winning the first ever UFC title and of course now we are getting our hopes up Bafana might just win again in other news ladies and gentlemen let's say Bahura, this year elections are upon us six million people under the age of 30 have not registered to vote if we if you know Khurlinala Lachau has never been black, please do the right thing. Register to vote. Asika di party, Asika di party. Kirliena Tuduzani Zuma has registered his own new game changers party. Khunali di party, Lerata di party. It's time to make yours known. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, in other news, the year was off to a great start as many attended the Duma Collective event. In their opinion of the PNC team, they said it was the best event they've ever attended. Bread was hanging in the air and people came dressed as pies. As seen here, Primo 20. Is he Primo 20? Does he change this year? Primo, formerly known as 19, was dressed as a pastry. Depending on what smell he was exuding, that was the flavor. So from those who were there, they said he was a Mohoru flavored pie. We want to send a shout out to Sibu Mapena and the team at Duma Collective for putting on what is definitely the best event to hit the calendar this year. Sianbonga, Sianbongela. <laughs> right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be crossing over to the man who knows everything about the atmosphere, Serame Mezi, Dipula, everything that has to do with the weather. Question is whether or not he's correct. <laughs> I thought I'd just sneak that in there. Uh, crossing over to you, Alfred Lekhadima. Welcome back to the news weather desk. I am Alfred Lekhadima, aka Lightning McKee. Happy New Year, South Africa. Happy New Year. And this is a perfect year to start with small Ajana problems. Mick Mills, all the way from America, came with a hurricane of lies. To South Africa telling us that asking us questions like where do we get our music where do we listen to his music well Mick Mills you are in luck because today I will show you Limpopo right here is where we get all the music there's a big USB called uh, the United Soundboard it's the big USB Kofi Annan himself 
gives us the music. You see those ladies when they are carrying buckets up there? It's not just water. No, no, my brother. It's lyrics, chorus, the good stuff that we call the can get. Jovek, on the other hand, is a good weather to be a pie or to have a pie. Like Primo, he did himself. Look at him over there, dressed as a pie. The 19 is actually an order number. If you go to any pie shop and you say, number 19, they will give you Primo himself. Or Primo will come out and give you himself. As he is a pie that is Adam's apple flavor. I'm sorry. Here we go. Cape Town has always been unpredictable and is being unpredictable with the weather again. But Cape Town, I want to say congratulations as you have produced a very, very, very good group of young comedians that we experienced this Sunday at the Savannah Comics Choice uh, Newcomers Showcase Awards. I don't know if I said it right. At the Newcomers Showcase Awards where we saw a lot of Cape Town comedians talking about other jokes rather than their genital areas. Wow, we are tired of those genital areas jokes. Aren't you tired? I'm tired too. I am with that. <laughs> All right, look at uh, Eastern Cape. Oh, where is the Eastern Cape? Oh, okay. I thought they moved because of the hurricanes. But look at this. Here's the Eastern Cape right here next to me. Eastern Cape, of course, they have the lowest form of employed, employed youth. The youth there is generally unemployed, so I hope you can understand this. You guys and the people from Cebu Gang, Langkushi Shagar, this Venek part is not for you if you are employed. It's for those two places. Langkushi Yandiva, Ola Chep. Another person also from a place called uh, Pretoria, Oskar Bo, was dancing with us this weekend. I mean, my shoulders have not been the same. I mean, everyone when we were dancing there, our quapas were smelling a little bit more than each other, and Oscar is long, so he's, I'm joking, he was not smelling. Don't use that, that one in this cancer. We are not gonna cancel this one, eh? You guys are not gonna cancel. You're gonna get me canceled on the news by Oscar Mbo. Oscar Mbo, I like your music. Is that his? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's his, no? You're my kind of weather brother. Um, last but not least, Cape Town fires have always been ignited. I don't know if there's an Asanist or an Asanal player that lives in Asanal, I mean in Cape Town, but wow, the fires have increased by 30%. How do you even know a fire has increased by 30%? Is there a guy measuring fires and say, wow? This flame is 30% more than last year. Wow, whoever you are, my brother, thank you for measuring the fires because we didn't know we are dangerous, in a dangerous place. Sulfur is killing us, lighters are killing us, smokers are killing us, people who are doing vapes are killing us, and ochre pipes are killing the youth. Please stop with the ochre pipes. You can't even do a second, so your lungs are dying without shape. Imagine, this is, the weather of South Africa for 2024. I am Alfred Radima. It's good to see you guys. Welcome back. I hope you ate some more. Thank you. Back to studio where the studio is. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, Latseva Hore, it's always dark at any time in South Africa because the coal is wet. <laughs> And the But that's a story for another day. Let's call it Votang this year. Talking about load shedding, uh, we cross over to the blackest member of our division here at PNC News. Load shedding, Maziboko. Thank you. Uh, taps on news, the Rupi Sanoha. Load shedding, Maziboko, here on the ground, on the field, where the grass is greener. I'm not sure if the grass is green or is it yellow. Or oh, it's yellow and green. Now, uh, rumor has it that okay, piss it down. Okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the penalty, penalty misser and, and the, the penalty, penalty scorer. scorer. Piss it down. How, how are you? Are you? 
Uh, uh, very very good, good in itself. itself. Uh, thank, thank you so, so much. Uh, bless God. God. Thank, thank you God, God for today and this greeting that you're greeting me with. Thank you. Brilliant. Brilliant. Tell, Tell me how you felt, felt when, when you missed, missed the penalty, penalty because Ruma has it that you are, you are wearing, wearing a kit that looked, looked like a spring box, so you thought to yourself, it is your time, time to score, score a try instead of hit the net. net. Uh, missing a penalty can be very hard for a player, you know. Uh, the strategy, strategy behind, behind uh, uh, when, when other, other you know, when when people, people just treat you so badly, you know, I was kicked out of my church, church for four days. Uh, I was divorced, divorced for four, four days. days. Uh, you, you know, know the, the WhatsApp, WhatsApp group, group that didn't recognize, recognize me for four days. days. You, know, you know, they were posting memes in there that, that, that were very, very uh, detrimental, detrimental to my health. You know, you know. And, and uh, uh, you know, just coming, coming back, back from, from that, that, you know, the coach, coach told me, you, you know, just pray, boy, boy, just go, go to school, school, you know, drink your, your, your medicine, medicine, and, 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 and everything happened for a reason. Thank, thank you, God. Brilliant. Uh, uh, so, so then, then what happens after that is that, that you score the first penalty that uh, spikes the mood, mood and the energy, energy of Abafana. Bafana ba ki bafa na bafana ba ki bafa na bafana ba ki bafa na and then you guys end up beating Namibia 4-0 tell me about that uh, you know uh, yeah god bless us you know thank you god uh, again for the goals you know uh, for the penalty you know prayed for the penalty you know, you know may, may god may, may, may god show the light and the light was shown in the top corner ah, you know that's how i scored you know but you know namibia is a very small and, 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 and it's, it's, it's our neighbor, neighbor. You, know, you know, it's like, like beating your younger, younger brother, you know, you know and I know those people, they are beating, thinking, thinking speaking sad for us, beating them, but it's just beating, beating my little, little brother, brother and say, why, why did you leave us? us? And, you know, so so bring them bring bring them back, back, back home. home. But, but uh, so in Namibia, yeah, you know, I know we passed us for doing that. Sorry, sorry Namibia, Namibia, sorry, Lichesa, sorry, Bodololo, because in all cases, shots were fired. Now, Drake, 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 Drake pass it out before you leave. Oh, Drake, Drake had made, made a bet, bet uh, and, and, and spent a lot of money uh, to, to make, make sure that his opinion on the fact that Drakus was going to lose, lose his, but Drakus won. won. Yeah. So, so congratulations, congratulations to Drakus Duplessis yeah. for beating and winning, winning the UFC uh, yeah. championship. So, so how, how much do you think we can bet on Bafana Bafana? You know, you know, bet, bet your money, bet, bet your houses, houses bet, bet your wives, bet everything, everything you, you know, this is a safe, safe place. place. Let, Let me tell you, we have, have been, been celebrating since we scored that goal. goal. Since, since the four years, years I, have been, I, have been, I haven't been home. home. This, this is not even where I'm supposed, supposed to be right now. Three days without, we've been, been celebrating. We haven't even, even had that trick as well. We've been, been celebrating. We're singing. Oh, Iyana Fana Yapuvelina. Bafana Bafana. Pass it down. P.S. Seniors, Lightning Mazibogo. We are here to take everything. We are here to win everything. 2020 more. 2020 more. More hustles. More blessings, more work, more spun. Do yourself a favor and do more. Take. This is the year where we take. We are taking everything. Go out and take everything. And in more tragic news, ladies and gentlemen, there was recently a shooting at a nightclub in Sentin named after a chocolate that doesn't exist, Tempo. Two people who were involved in the fatal shooting include Lisheza, the entertainer, and of course, Abuti Lolo. They only realized two days later that they had been shot because initially the bullet didn't make its way to where it needed to be. Lichaza was then found buying a gun after the delayed reaction of the bullet wound. We hope that they heal and we hope that they get to the bullet in time before it makes its way to any vital organs. And Liskebel uh, Alibala, please do not forget that on the 3rd and 4th of February, registrations will be open. Please register to vote as a, an alarming number of people, 6 million to be exact. People under the age of 30 have not yet registered to vote. 3rd and 4th of February will be your chance to make a difference. Are voting. This is the year of change. As you can see, as a country, we've started on the right note. Let's keep the momentum going. Vote, vote, vote. But before you do that, register. Libisolaka ke tabiso di rupetsa noha 
affectionately known as Taps on News. Have a beautiful day. Rale Woha, Lusaleng Sintle, Abshani, Henda, Pidipidi, Sonke, Si. Um, we're always looking to the elders. We respect them. It's not even yeah. a point of disrespect or undermining. Yeah. Um, we've learned from them. They've protected us. They've grown us up. But what we need to understand, the fault lays on our side. Because you're always like, nah, these elders, these elders. In any situation, if people do things and they get away with it and they're not called out, they're not held accountable, they'll continue doing so. Yeah. Mm. It's for us to say, hold on one sec. This, this is not it. Uh -huh. And why I'm saying that is we've uh -huh. had... As they say, every generation defines their struggle or their fight or whatever. The generation of the people that brought us our liberation, mm -hmm. freedom, MK, um, ANC, and many other formations, they've played their role. Yeah. Their juice is completely squeezed out. Background, they can sit, they can advise, they can give historical experiences. Mm. That's their role. Mm. Now, you cannot have... Someone, you know, that's, we're sitting right now and it's, it's a bunch of the leaders that we speak about who are an elder, an elder capacity. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, when you said a bunch of, your pause reminded me of someone. Nelly, we Nelly. Which, which guy you talking The guy in politics? Or? The guy who's been many ministers. Okay, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking about our, our ah, soccer team. Yes. Okay. Hey, yeah. hey, man, shout out. Shout out. So, no, no, no. We can never, we can never say that. We love, yeah. our, we love our people. Yeah. You can't, we cannot expect to have people fighting two struggles in one lifetime. They've done the liberation part. Yo. The economic part is up to us. We need to define yeah. that. Yeah. Now, if we're sitting and waiting... Looking, we tune into Parliament TV, we can see it's a circus. We're not happy with the people that are, are leading us. We're responsible for them. We're the yeah. ones that put them there. Absolutely. We voted for them. We've supported them. We can't blame them. We need to blame ourselves. We need to say, hey, guys, this is what it is. We've given said people opportunity. They haven't come to the party. Let's rejig, let's revamp. And that's what we're doing. We're rejigging and revamping. And we're able to do so. The biggest lie that they want to make us believe as we're not capable of doing it. When they themselves in 94 did it. If you look at the current crop of leaders that have existed in the previous and the current administration, let's call it the past two or three administrations, the past 30 years, when they were running the country, they were our age. Yep. Mm. It was the youth. Zero experience. The youth was taking zero, zero governance experience. Governance experience. Uh, and zero business experience. Education, but, sketchy. You know, but it is what it's saying, you know, but they did what they needed to do. Yeah. And they did. Now it. they're making it seem like we can't. We are in a far much better position. Yeah. With so more experience. Technology. And it's because of them you know that we are in a better position. 100%. Yeah. We, respect that. we respect that fact. We yes. can never come or run away from it. But I like but what you said time. about the background yeah. Yeah. and chilling and advising while the front men 100%. are the new if age. If you look at it, it's, it's, it's like any coach. Alex Ferguson, it would be strange if you see him on the pitch. fifth minute uh, lacing up. You yeah. know you're a great coach. Crazy you passed your prime when it, when, when, when it comes to playing on field. Sit in the back, direct traffic. Now guys want to be out there wearing the armband. Yeah. No, nah, it doesn't work like and that. And I think just as a people, we, we need to speak about succession. We, we don't do succession well. We're the old guy in the club. The one to leave. Still got now, full bull. Speak for yourself, my brother. You understand? <laughs> <Are you? laughs> ah! <laughs> now fashion comes right around. <laughs> but I'm saying, yeah. we, we don't do succession yeah. well. Even in family. We mm. do not. Yeah. And, and I can point example after example. Mm. And our counterparts, whoever they are, and that we see ourselves as counterparts, we've been in meetings where someone will call his son, the son's 12, and says, hey, meet Winston, Winston, this is my boy. He's going to take over. But the, the kid's are already engaging you at that level. When that boy turns 18, it's, it's not a new interaction for him to, to, to figure out, right? Yeah. Every one of us as black people start over. 
You know what I mean? Like you yeah. start, you, you bet you, every one of us here had to figure out how, no, you, no one's father said, no, this is the setup, guys. You understand? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh that's cold. Oh, well, we'll see. See. I, just, I just keep pointing. <laughs> you see this guy? <laughs> you see, pops, give this guy a popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> many doesn't have. But but yeah, we have to. DJ, <laughs> where's this water from? Are you starting to feel funny? No, no, I'm asking if it's if it's tap water or you not. Know, oh, it's bottled water. Yeah, I'm just nope. checking. A lot of poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> taken, being taken out on live. TV. Now we have to rush you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got that. You got that one. Yeah, that's an inside no, no. joke. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> but I, I, yeah. nobody is rushing. Ah, <laughs> oh. no, stop it! You let me. What the hell are these guys? You see, private school jokes, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. I am with you. I am with you. I am with you. <laughs> And I want like, there's people at home laughing right now. They don't know what's going on, but they're laughing. They also don't know. You know, we, we like ice. Me, yeah. I went to a school where you don't pay your school fees. They don't give you a report. <laughs> you have to don't? guess if you're in the next grade. Yeah, though. and you too. You don't fine for your say. report. This thing only has a grade 10. Well, <laughs> technically, we don't know. Because I did do grade 11. <laughs> Sure. But <laughs> that's the worst day ever. The next, the first day of the next year. We don't when know you're, we have when you're trying to figure so. out. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> so here's 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 what I want to know, right? Because <laughs> because <laughs> that's city off. Because Zani, right? You 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 talk about being a um, uh, what do you call it on the run, right? Yeah. You finally settled at home, bro, ne? And then home did this to you. Did me dirty. Yeah, yeah. they did but you. It's all good. They did you dirty, mm-hmm. right? You you're at the helm of this brilliant company, and you know the, the way Winston narrates it, and I know it's it's in the effort to save time. Is that you tried your hand at business and you succeeded? What a lot of people don't know is that before you succeeded, you were in the trenches. Straight. Yeah, like it like it wasn't an easy road to becoming to building that business, right? People, a lot of people think it was handed to you. A lot of people don't know. What you were put through, the type of meetings you were, you you had to attend, the things people would say to you right. at those meetings, right? And eventually, you do make it you successful. In and South this Africa. was without any government contracts. So that's the one thing people not nah, tenders, not one government contract yeah. in my whole business journey. It's all been private business. Then they freeze your account, right? And you go back to you you go to Dubai. Exiled again. Right. And now you're back again on on, <clears throat> on the run out to your for the very second time. Yes, yeah. you you and you had set roots here, finally. You had settled. Now you on the run again, or you you you're being forced to leave the place that you call home. For the very what? second time, okay, come on, Alice. Huh? Back again for the very second time. No. Okay. No. Play, 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 play. I don't know that reference. Is it a song? No, Is it a movie? Bella, you must say uh, uh, SABC one star. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, Please. that one. Hey, hey, hey. We are cheese we, boys we, now, but hey, we didn't multi, grow up in hey, the cheese boy world. Well, you know? That one is giving multi choice now. You're oh. speaking about exile. Yeah. Exile, I was born in exile. Yeah. Right? Came into home, South Africa. Exiled into, uh, well, to Dubai, Dubai back. So I'm back for the very second time. So oh, exactly. once you need to explain a joke, I you're feeling for it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, 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 haven't made, I haven't made the next tour. Your next tour, no, I'm not on the I, Just no, the first. No, 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 and, yeah. and, and depending the first on how much that had to be explained. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> The audience will tell you, yeah. To when you tell a joke, no, we've got brilliant cheese gang watching. They yeah. got it, yeah. And if you have a lot of money, we laugh. <laughs> so, so no, I like that you have a seven nacho. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna give you more struggle songs. Uh, so, I want to know my dog. V for victory. Ah, give me a D. Give me a U. You got your D. You got your D. Okay. Give me a U. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's that's how the song goes, though. It's just that you could have said the U rather. Oh, okay. And chose a different a letter. Kapo, you say your superhero name is Adapt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys. 
Give me a tea. <laughs> ah, 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 Parliament, we know which party you would be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, which one? I am not. No, no, no. No, which one? Fighting. <laughs> Stop fighting. <laughs> oh, you mean I wear For the freedom. same color shirt? And, yeah! then, uh, <laughs> and I'm from there. And I'm from there. I'm from the, the place. <laughs> but I don't subscribe. Eh? Mm-hmm. Pops. City, we, you think of time. Let's be economical. Ah. <laughs> can so, I, can I, how many times have you voted? Sorry. Uh, how many cycles? 2019, the one before that, four cycles now. Because yeah. I agree, you, you know, they chase you away. No, no, no. <laughs> so you can vote, you can vote, vote at, your, at your I don't know. Public that, school, so, like, so, private so, school. So if, you, if, 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 you like travel, if, you're, if you're overseas, you can vote. There's, there's so the special votes, so special hey, votes. Where's my popcorn? Yeah. Oh, I gave it to the Overseas yeah. is not okay. Swaziland or listen to me. You have to actually. <laughs> Do you know why they ever turn? Ever turn? Ever turn? Ever turn? Oh, thanks. You're overseas. So you're uh, not, yeah. I'm, so, I'm gonna so, go with you uh, guys. Uh, 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 so, special votes you get uh, people that go day before, um, a paraplegic and people that professionals, doctors, yeah. and whoever else. And then overseas, you're, you're allowed to go to your consulate and you vote from the country that you live in. So, that's how okay. we did it. Yeah. All right. So, Zani, you your your stuff got frozen. You went overseas. Your friend comes up to you and says, "Bro, we need you back. We need to fix the country." Um, first of all, Winston mentioned something that you know literally we needed to get back to. He said your account is still frozen today. Yes, sir. Still, I paid for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Should, should we get lunch after this? Oh, should that's we? A fact, fact, true right. story. <laughs> and he's on your just... hey, this <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, fact. That's also a true story. But anyways, bro, leave it at that. Right. So, so, so what? What I'm, what I'm trying to ascertain from you, right, is, <laughs> I, is, is I want you to, 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 sh- to share briefly your business journey, making it, getting everything taken away from you. And what made you decide to come back to the place that did you dirty and want to fix it and 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 literally become president? Um, the business journey started off in the technology space, IT space. So that's what you studied. Yeah. So and that, that was the interest at the time. And once again, the direction where I was headed, it was a work in progress. You know, I wasn't one of those eight hey, need to be this. And I was like, yo, it was, it was, it came about by the need to put food on the table. Mm. Like most of us, you know, there was no luxury of, of going a certain route. It was like, this is what it is. There's a desperate need right now. There's a family to look after. Um, and family's going through the most. I need to remove myself as, as a burden and become part of the problem solving mechanism. Cause you come <clears> from a big family. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Sure. Um, and that's just the kids. But anyways, so yeah, you can interview the the father. He'll tell you about all of that. Oh, I thought yeah, you were yeah. going to say we can interview the kids. No, gonna no, say, no, no. Yeah. Okay. It's going to take the whole year. It's a weekly show. Oh. Yes, no problem. Yeah. Two interviews a month you should get to. Yeah. <laughs> so, went on and there's, there's lessons along the way that, yeah. that, that I learned. And the formula that I lived by, as per what I was taught on my journey, is if you want to be part of a game-changing scenario, you want to have a voice on the table. Yeah. There's someone that's taken seriously. Because my whole life, I've always wanted to be someone who sits at the top of the mountain. A decision maker. That's it. I don't want to be, I don't want to be the passenger. I don't want to feel helpless and be that guy. Mm. Now things are happening and 
you know there's a certain hand, uh, handful of people controlling the situation and you just go along. I don't like, I don't like feeling that way. Yep. So three elements of, of, of the, the business space that I still live by today as a, as a business um, ethos is you need to at least occupy two, if not all of these, yeah. in order to be taken seriously and to basically fly above the clouds. One, you need to be part of the major contributor to your GDP. And this is a global formula, not just mm -hmm. South Africa. So in our South African space, uh, mining has been the backbone that South Africa has been built on. Yeah. So the mining space, and there's a whole host of, of disciplines in, in mining. And, you know, we formed part of a few of these disciplines, which I'll get into um, shortly. Two, the media space. Uh, um, control the narrative. Yeah, yeah, control the narrative, you know, um, um, you know, disperse information, let people make decisions, but you need to be in a position where, and it's like what you gentlemen are doing here, curating content, mm. you're putting it out there, and as much as there's um, an entertainment value to it, there's also an informative value to yeah. it. Mm. You know, <coughs> motivation and... Motivation, yeah. and people... Knowledge. People, yeah, people take... They consume information differently. It's not Sorry, just about, Winston, about, I can't um, see my future president. <laughs> I was trying to block my shine, but anyways... Um, <laughs> You, can, <laughs> you just moved the vice president out the way. <laughs> it's the first visible vice president ever. And you touch my shoulder. Name another one. Nazo. It's just nice to hear you speak. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, my dog. Don't mind these guys. Is that the David you're speaking of? <laughs> no, no. Okay. We are Musa. No, no, no. I'm just asking. Ah, ah, <laughs> ah. You don't look like a little bit. Ah. <laughs> ah. Mm. No, guys. guys are either going to hell or getting <laughs> or getting locked up. Yeah, one anyway, of the two. One of the two. Um, so media space. And yeah, then so the second one, one is media. Yeah, first, yeah, first, first one is mining. Yeah, whichever, second whichever. Media. Different parts of the world could be anything. It, doesn't, it could be agriculture, it could be tourism, whatever. Mm. But mining here in South Africa. And then the third one, financial services. Mm -hmm. Banks, insurance, and, and, and. Um, we formed two of those three. Uh, the final piece of that Jenga puzzle, I think, not I think, they definitely realize now. These boys are coming for the Holy Grail. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. They need to be stopped. They need yeah. to be stopped. But I don't know how to feel because before he said this, he said, if you want to be taken seriously. So I did the whole spiel of MD. I'm not in mining. I'm not in... <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> it's not make sure. You can just get shot in the chest. And, <laughs> <laughs> and say it with your chest. <laughs> <laughs> say it with your chest. Yeah. Which one is this one? Uh, on you to know, your last bullet point. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, too soon. Titi, Guys, that is too ah, soon. Titi. Nah, nah, come on. You're just shooting a shot. Ah, 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 <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, anyways, I'm sorry. This guy's um, a sniper. The dog. <laughs> Shots have been fired, man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I call him the 50 cents of Messi? Hey, hey. Ah, <laughs> guys, ah. Did you not get rich? Yeah. He hasn't died trying. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> 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 the the Ali <laughs> hoop. Yeah, that Ali hoop was clean. Ah. <laughs> That's the brown picture. <laughs> but, um, oh, so why why I take it seriously is I've had <laughs> the pleasure of playing <laughs> at the highest levels. Yeah. Peek behind the curtain, understand how the game works have played the game, mm -hmm. and everything that was done was purely to destabilize the progress. Yeah. And it was why I call it destabilizing is they're not going to get rid of us. We're going to be those natives that come up and are able to showcase that we're able to do it. There are a lot of people that have come before us that have not been able to showcase their talents at the highest levels because it's either they were afraid to do so or they cut those deals where it's comfort life, two international trips a year, sit on whatever board. 
that's not that's not the way I I, I do things. Mm-hmm. Mountain top. That's the only way we're going to do things economically, politically. That's just what it is. So accounts. Hey, I'm always on you. No pain. Hey. Hey. Even me, I feel like sometimes I can do something. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, you're right. You're right. Like the that, that motivation yeah. chat. That yeah. Hey. Yeah. See, I'm, okay, carry on. Man. Carry on, my dog. When you were speaking, I was disturbed. Mm. He went on, mm. chief, on this soliloquy of his. But I need to be can't disturb. Pugale. Hey. hey. <laughs> While three shots later, he just says one. <laughs> Terminator, this guy. Terminator, dog. <laughs> Oh, you were. <laughs> All right. Bro, are you sure about this? And then, Qua, right? get my shirt, dog. And he only shot once. Qua, <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. It's a check your scene. Chief on the way to hospital doing internet banking. <laughs> hey, dog. <laughs> Increasing his limits. Changing his daily limits. And check daily limits. <laughs> Sending SMSs to his friends. Hey, Cody, I'm going to 7780. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to the dog, sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> Is that other guy gonna meet you? Yeah. I'm surprised you can talk, but dude. Yeah. What Scream about you? What about fashion? Nah, hey, oh, man. You're not a tiger. It's not a tiger. He wasn't telling himself, about, yeah. Yeah. I can't be looking at this guy, man. Mm. Hey, German, man. <laughs> He wasn't serious Mate. about dying. Yo. Yes, yes, yes. My yes. president. <laughs> My president. <laughs> Yo. Uh uh. Um, Wins. Yo. Yeah. So, what people need to realize is it wasn't just. Closing off of accounts, they proper chased us. Mm. Different territories, different parts of the world. Um, there were different communiques that happened, and they came looking for us. You know, and I'd say to them, guys, innocent, you're not going to find anything. More than welcome to. So that was 2015. We're in 2020, almost 2025 next year, 2024 mm. now. Mm. Happy New Year, everybody! By the way. Um, <laughs> for those that know, I almost messed up there, but yeah. <laughs> Complaints of the new season. Um, <laughs> no jail carefully. time. No, no, no jail time. There's been allegations that have gone through the roof. They didn't expect me to come back and, and face the music. You've been forthcoming with documents. One hundred percent. I've I've complied every step of the way. To a point where they say, now nah, we're looking for this dude. I'm like, no, you're not looking for me. We are the ones who yeah, sent you. I'm right here. Every every month, month and a half, lawyers used to send, um, um, communicate to the different uh, departments. The Chief, this, this, he's flying in, mm. he's flying out. If he needs to come to your offices, you're more than welcome to come to ours. We'll sit down, ask him whatever questions. The pettiest they thing they ever did was when they put cuffs on your legs, bro. That was the pettiest. When this guy came back. Yes. We went to a function and fortunately or unfortunately, depends which way you look at it, the justice minister was sitting at the table we had. So Zani says, hey, how are you looking for me? Looking for me <laughs> 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 no way! Huh. No, so, so, it was, that's it was, so, it was that's so Jenny, 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 That's so gangster. No, no, Jenny, Jenny. Jenny. Goes, where's the camera? <laughs> <laughs> Leon Schuster, isn't it? are you Leon Schuster? 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was in Kimberley, January 8th. And we decided to go for whatever reason. And the different tables have different sponsorships. So depending yeah, yeah. on how much you pay, you get an experience with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're sitting with the platinum, with the president, deputy president, and then call yeah. and whatever, minister, deputy mm-hmm. minister. So coincidentally, at our table of 10, there was three of us, Winston, myself, and um, the Justice Minister, who is the current just, Justice Minister um, at the moment. And yeah, I was like, yo, you're looking for me, G, I'm, I'm here, let's talk, mm. you know? And he said, no. sure, didn't sir. Yeah. No, 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 it's no. like, no, because the thing is people act like we're running, we're labeled fugitives. Mm-hmm. There was uh, But online... it goes back to that media engine you're talking yeah, about. 100%, yeah, 100%. If yeah. you don't control that narrative, or if, you, if other people are in, in charge of they use it against you, because they know what they're trying to strip you off. Yeah. 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 So there was one of those things. But to cut it to cut it short, yeah. there's, a, there's a lot of value that was created. There's a lot of opportunities that that um, what, we created. What made you come back and decide this is what you want to do? Bro? This is like, this is home, man. This is home. This right? is home. You can live anywhere else in the world. Some amazing places that exist in the world as 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 we've all travelled. Um, it's, it's it's but you cannot beat South Africa. This is what I want to post to the. This is what I want to post to the both of you, right? So, 
how does this work, gents? How how do we achieve what you want to achieve in our lifetime? What how does how do we how do we get like to Zani Zuma to be the president of South Africa? How does that look? Is it I, does he have to go through the youth league rank, even though he's not the youth league? Does he have to do it within the ANC? How does it look? Are, we, are, are you starting your own political party? What does that look like? What does the road to presidency look like? Like from here, well, how do you say for you guys? From uh, theory to practical. Yeah. yeah. I think where we need to start off, firstly, is understanding that this is not a one-man show. Yeah. So it's not about me. It's not about you. Um, it's definitely not about me. I mean, <laughs> his, his feelings. I was on a ask and looking feelings. for ministers. Ah, ah, it's it. You'd be yeah. minister of what? Yeah. <laughs> Technology. Because your name is Titi. Old dial-up. Or arts and culture. Back to this guy. Back to the serious in closing uh, statements. Everyone needs to take control of our destiny as the current um, current generation mm-hmm. where we need to go. Because what we've done is we've subcontracted politics and leadership to people that ordinarily should not be there because we haven't had an out, a different perspective. Another option. Other options, a different language. Mm-hmm. So now everything that we focus on, the politics in this country is every five years, there's a national and then there's a local government election. Mm-hmm. Everything builds up to that. Okay, positions, um, balance of forces, who's going to be, and we need to break away from that. We have a bunch of political <laughs> <laughs> There it is. There it is. We have there it is. a whole host of <laughs> political parties. And majority of the parties see things the same. Mm-hmm. But sure. because we have different colors for banners, political um, formations, uh, the, the, the names, we're treating each other like enemies. When, in fact, we've all grown up next to each other. We've gone to school together. We've been colleagues in, in workplaces together. Mm. After the rallies and after the elections, we 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 kicking it together. Congregate, sit together, share meals. So together. you know what I'm saying. So if we can take the spirit of guys, this is where we're trying to get to. This is who we are. We all have different avenues to get there. Let's streamline and let's get to this place. That's what we need to be doing. So our journey, as this current generation, that's all of us because we are of a, a similar age range, mm-hmm. um, and and similar ideology in the way we we live our lives. And I'm not speaking about politically. Yeah. Um, I'm speaking about just generally as members of society. Our mission is to change the mindsets of people. The narrative needs to change. Yeah. Of what we speak about, of how we do things. And there's that North Star. In 94, it was the, the fable Rainbow Nation. Uh-huh. We need that North Star. We're all rallying behind, regardless of what your situation is. That's where we need to get to in order to have a peaceful prosperous, safe and secure country. How, how do we rally behind you? What does that look like? Within your zone, within your corner, within your, your um, sphere of influence, spread the word. And the word is not, it's not to do something. It is change. We all need to be part of that change. By the time we get to a point where there'll be people that will be the faces of change, the ground will determine them. The only reason why some of us have stood up and said, yo, Hand up, I can do this because no one else is. It hasn't been a face yet. Mm. Yeah, people are afraid to do so. Yeah, because the it, conversations that we have, the reality mm. of, of what the situation is, we all know. It. I don't need to convince you what the issues are yeah. and how we can fix them. Mm. You've got a very great idea. We've had these conversations. Yeah. You know, and besides having the conversations, we understand it because we are from that generation. This is what we need to do and this is how we need to do it. If if I look at Winston's Instagram, because you you're not on social media, right? Not not as yet. And 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 uh the person who, who's, who's your campaign manager on the social streets would be Mr. Winston here. And what you're saying actually speaks to what I see when I look at Winston's Instagram, right? I see that you guys literally, I'll see you there with your sunglasses in the back of your head, T-shirt, short pants, 
with the shovel. Got to get there and study, bro. You know, you guys are you guys are cleaning up there, man. <clears throat> your cor- your little corner from of the South pavement Africa. to Parliament. That's what yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so I I want to I want to know from you guys, like, what's the what's the political outfit? Yeah, <clears throat> I think if I if I can just interject, sorry. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is, it's not going to have a pocket as part of the merchandise. <gasps> then. Well, the formation, the name of the, huh. the, the, the formation. Huh. I mean, I'm sure you'll touch it. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Merchandising, huh. will be no problem. So overall, it's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, it'll yeah. have, yeah. Over, yeah. It'll have more it. of a heartfelt message. Yeah. Yes, Uncle Bono. So, <laughs> is there a political party? Yes, there, there is one in works. Um, we like to refer to ourselves as, as game changers. Mm-hmm. And we want all the game changers to be on the same page, you know? So it might just be AGC, something like that, with an acronym like that. Mm -hmm. Um, Because everyone knows what the the challenges are. There's a whole plethora, not bunch. Oof. 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 Hey! You know, and I think we suffer from cognitive dissonance. Yeah, hey. uh, <clears throat> yeah, oh, that's true. And if we can all take on the challenge of being autodidactics, huh. yo, hey. yeah. right, let me stop there. Yeah, please, because <laughs> hey. usually I would say, uh, please explain for the cheese gang and Sibu gang. No, but no. even me, Sibu gang, today I'm now I'm a resident. There were no bombastic. No, no, that was that was dope, too, but. You know, one thing I can say, I know I'm interrupting you, but just on your bombastic language, I guess. People have always said this, but you truly are someone that has taken a bullet from you. You know? <laughs> you say, oh, uh, <laughs> No. That being said, the build up. It's wrapped up. It's the build up. The build up. He's loading it. But, uh, <laughs> please, can we just cook it back? Uh. <laughs> you guys, I feel like I'm surrounded. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, hit him up. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> Echoing like this one in the chamber. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, definitely, they, they, there's going to be a, a political party. Yeah. Um, Not an independent, because a lot of people have thought it's... No, no. An independent you can't do it as an individual, man. number one. Impossible. No, number two is, this is a vehicle for all of South Africa, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's not a... We We also want to move away from whose fault it is. Yes. Because the people that have come before us, we'd like to think have tried their best. Sure. Yeah. Mm. You understand? And and have come short. Now you want to fight for those who've come before you and let you know, guys, if you can do better, let's stand up, let's get it done. Mm-hmm. You know? And sometimes you just need a GSD guy. Guy who gets... Stuff that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, and 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 that's Not what it is. Gangster disciples. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. oh, oh wow! Come on, the young child <laughs> chance now. So yeah. so <laughs> so yeah. So it's 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 a positive vibe. Yeah. It's a vibe that transcends race, transcends background, transcends uh, uh, religion. Sure. It's just like listen, let's clean up our space. If we don't do it, who else do we expect to come and do it? Will so it, that's the long way. Focus, 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 focusing on the simple wins. Yeah. 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 Will it be ready in time for, for parliament? 100%. For, 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 the, for the elections? It'll be ready in a month or so. Let me say this. Nothing Even if there's no political formation, we're going to get the job done. Why I say this I, is, I, this I is a that. mindset change. This is not yeah, about yeah, yeah. elections, electioneering, and just vote counting. This is about us saying we need to make a difference. There's no election that's going to turn things around overnight society that's going to turn it around 
we all sure. need to be on the same page yeah. to do so. And it's exciting because it's all happening in the open. Like so it's like you everyone can be part of the ground yeah, work, absolutely. everyone can be part of the narrative going. I, I think for me that's the most exciting part about uh, an organization like this because then you are part of the information and I, you wouldn't think that a lot of information was lost whereas you know when we were born you know they told you hey this is your leader you like how oh, i don't know this guy <laughs> 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 they like this is he died for i mean he did this for you you like but i don't know the guy you must say he died for you <laughs> 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 hey i don't know this guy no, he died uh, for you. <laughs> Jesus was his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know it's like trying to find the Well, name, I don't know man. that guy too. I'm joking. Jesus. Yeah, but yeah. So it's it's, it's, it's really nice to see someone you can relate to, someone a president you can call my bro, you know, and 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 for I think this is exciting for our time and then going further then it will get less exciting 100%. and then they will yeah. make it more exciting. But that's themselves. that's what it is. Everyone yeah. wants to see someone that they feel represents yeah. looks like yeah. them, talks like mm. them, dresses like they them. Can this is the issue have people are imposed on people. Yeah, as mm. opposed to people saying, "Well, actually, no, this is one of us. We want him to represent us." Yeah. I relate, and it's like um, Winston saying, "Game changers, man." If that's what it's called, you feel like you want to be a game changer yep. Yep. in your respective space. With you guys, have changed the game. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, not just not you know not just then. I mean, we're coming along with, with with a lot of the guys, so it's not something new. You've always pushed the boundaries. You've always pushed. I mean, we see what it is that you guys are doing. You know, with you know outside of of Of, of of this wonderful show, mm. you guys have been pushing the limits, and Thanks, in your own zones, you've created a a, a a mindset and 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 a level of attention from society to say, guys, these are these are our guys. These are the guys that are up. They're the ones that are doing the most, and we ride with them. And this is all we're saying. Wherever you are, in your own zone, professionally, sports, entertainment, politically, business, business, you know what you need to do. We don't need mm. to convince you. The change needs to happen. You take a drive out, you know what needs to change. Be a part of that change. Yeah. Not everything is about, no, yeah. then um, I want to become a mayor. Bro, I'd rather be jet skiing and, and, and wakeboarding than, yeah. Than, yeah. Than, than politicking and campaigning. Sure. But to answer your question why I came back is because I understand there's a need to change. We see the way the world is, 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 is changing and we've, we're falling back. We're not being the leaders like we once were. We are mm. now becoming... The people that follow trends. We want to be the trend centers. Uh, sorry, tra trend setters. You know, and that's very, what we need to do. Very important question that the cheese gang are probably going to ask in the comments. When you become president, are you going to defrost the They account? The the <laughs> <laughs> hey, we need the calls. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder if you can do the calls. You'll be president tomorrow. <laughs> which which call? Esco, oh, the goal, the other. Ah, no, man, you see. Oh, I'm saying the first time. The money, cows. his money, you the saying the cows. cows. Where have you, you been? Oh, hey, what the calls do you for it? It's wet. Oh. He's still, I mean, no, it's wet. He's still underground. He's in spite of the underground formations. Mm. Is everything okay? We have to close the show no, now. I, 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 I missed that and I apologize. Now, is, sorry. now we have to close the There show. There is always a week. Weekly. No, 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 no. That was a valid point. That was a valid point. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to use we're going to light up the coals. Yeah. To oh, de 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 defrost the uh, coals. Oh, yeah. 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 That is what yeah. 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 the future president. We brought him. Yo. 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 Such a save. <laughs> hey, you know what the problem is fixing. Yeah. You fixed it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Ah, oh, what a beautiful demonstration. No way. You relate to understand. No. So I man, just make fun of me. Look, man. <laughs> I just <laughs> You understand? He, he finds the value in what I'm saying. Yes! Why are you taking shots at me? <laughs> why, why do you think it's you? Because <laughs> you're looking directly at him. That's uh, I, I, I feel I, like I'm being shot. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, Titi, if the shoe fits. <laughs> Wait, my brother. I'm Yo, joking, man, no, yeah. I just want to say, right, um, I, I, I want to I wanna thank Winston, firstly. Bro. Some recognition. Him. No, bro. I, <laughs> I, I, I want to thank you because I feel, like, I feel like all of us need a Winston in our lives. Nah, mm. Thanks, brother. Right? Um, We had Churchill. Look where, look where that got us. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> But anyways... <laughs> Oh yeah 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 and that you know that you my friend huh not one that talks about Now that the guys time so about my complexion on the oh. 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 the 
the whole room just got dark. Oh, listen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Guys, beyond all of that, we've got nice lighting here at Beyond the Eye Studios. <laughs> beyond the Eye Studios, where we record popcorn and cheese. If you want to record a podcast or a fake green screen interview, or you want to just shoot something dope, come to Centura, Beyond the Eyes. This is where we are. Mpo Pops. Sorry, thank you for saying shoot something dope. Though you know, if you want to shoot Winston, you're good. Oh. Ah. 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 <laughs> if you yeah, want no. to shoot your shot in the entertainment industry, give Beyond the Eye Studios a try, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't matter your complexion, you will be seen. <laughs> of course, ladies and gentlemen, we also want to make sure that you are comfortable at all times because, you know, running for presidency is the most uncomfortable thing ever. But we want you to do it in style. 2050 event supplies. supplies. <laughs> make sure you are seated comfortably. Take the seat before the seat. <laughs> My brother. I did a professional. Back to you. <laughs> Back to you. Yeah, Back to you, you Windows. Thank you, bro. Thank you for thank you for being, like I said, we all need a Winston in our lives. Thank you for being the guy who literally jumped on a plane and went and told this guy, we need you. Right? Yeah, uh, and thank you for going back to and, and thank you for being the guy that makes this guy realize that it's not a one-man show. Mm. You know, as cheesy as it's, it, 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 it sounds, when, when they talk about the wind beneath very, your wings, very important. you are the wind behind the O's wings. You know what I mean? You, you're, 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 you're literally his right-hand man, you know? So I want to thank you for, for instilling in him the courage and the wisdom to actually come back home and fight for us, right? And, no and, doubt. and change Not the system, real. right? But over and above that, bro, um, besides to do to, Zani, to, to me personally as well, bro, you're the, you're the type of person that I can pick up the phone, we can sit for an hour, and you'll give me advice about life, business, relationship, whatever it is. Hello points, full metal jackets. <laughs> Yo. Vests. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh. We don't use those. <laughs> uh. Yo, I, I, I want to say thank you, bro. And 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 for me, when I think of when I think of Duduzani for president, I don't only consider it. That's why I call you the mayor. You know what I mean? Because you, I see you in that leadership role as one of the people who are doing everything in their power to instill change in this country. So I want to thank you for that. No, oh, thanks, bro. To to. I want to thank, thank you. you. No, 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 no. I'm hijacking, but. Not to take anything away from, he knows how, how I feel about this. this is my, my big brother and everything. But we're on your show. I want to thank you, bro. There's two times you've been very instrumental in my life, at least. You know, there's a, it's not just a show we, we're shooting because we've got nothing better to do. There's a relationship that we've yeah. Only built two. and, and, and <laughs> curated. <laughs> two major ones. Um, one, emceed at my, my wedding. Um, dope wedding, dope time, and you you brought light to it. And most importantly, over the past few years, when I lost my my younger brother Vusi, mm -hmm. you emceed at his funeral. Yeah, you know, I know we were having conversations. And I was making jokes. No, no, he was yeah. He was um, killing it. He was, yeah. Titi. Titi. Suppose start the colony. Start the quid. Go <laughs> home, my dog. <laughs> Bro. Murdered it. Encourage the behavior. It was a, it was a, it was a difficult time. Besides, it, besides yeah, yeah. a lot of stuff that we're all going through in our own um, spaces. You know, loss of a family member, and he was you know, my dear younger brother. A lot of people were dead set against it, um, <laughs> but we managed to make it happen. Yeah. And I can tell you. Most people that were against having a comedian, someone who makes the room light at a funeral afterwards were very complimentary of how you handled it and how you brought the mood from... The balance. Yeah, no, like it was from my time speaking, how, you know, um, it, it properly, properly balanced that, that situation out. And, you know, calm heads, cool heads, um, the emotions were, were raw, but were not out of hand. And I have to thank you for that because it went a very, very long way with some of us dealing with our issues, emotional issues at that time. So I just wanted to hijack this process and say, my brother, 
I appreciate, I appreciate the relationship. I got you, bro. Thank you, sir. Anytime, man. I always talk about it, um, and, and I never say who it was, right? But I always say, the I, when people ask me about a career-defining moment or the toughest gig I've ever done, that was the toughest gig yeah. I've ever done in my life, right? And I remember leading up to it, even on the day, I didn't know how it was going to go or if I was meant to do what I was meant to do. But it was the toughest but the best gig of my life. And I, I, and it's not a gig, but in terms of what I no, had no, to no, do, yeah, right? Correct. Because yeah. a lady uh, whose name I will not mention came up to me afterwards and said to me, Oprah. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, know if, <laughs> I don't know if you realized, <laughs> but no one was crying. That's, but that's what I said. And that's the, the, the term that Nzi yeah. used, the balance, 100%. We were able to enjoy the stories of everyone and you were able to give uh, anecdotes as to, you know, what the previous speaker had said and what sure. And honestly speaking, it, it, you phone, I, 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 you know, I, I, I drop whatever. And, and, and also Vusi Vusi was, yeah, no, Vusi yeah. was the, like a little brother to me as sure. well. But that was honestly one, you know, there's moments in your life that, that define you. That was for me, that was a very definitive moment in my life because for the fact that I was a ch I was able to do that with that setting and that background made me realize that what I, what the I had. The potential as, also yeah. and the... It made me realize my superpower. Yeah. 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 You know, and it's after Joey Razdeen said he couldn't make it, I said, no, I have to call Paul Pops. I, and just like, yo. I see Van in the show. <laughs> I see Van in the show. No, but honestly, man, yeah. like, like, like DZ, bro. Honestly, thank you for coming back. Uh, to the country. We're all excited about the prospect of you becoming... A no, 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 stop we, saying you. The, pros we, the prospect of us. Of us. Of us. Of us. Everyone needs to play their position. Of us. Of us. Yeah. Everyone needs to play their position. <laughs> Which one is this one? I'm also the president you had <laughs> last year on the show, I kill. No, I think, I think for me, um, I echo Titi's words. I've always wanted to 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 have political leaders that I can relate to that look like me that act like me that dress like me that listen to the same music as I do that people I can relate to right and what I'm thanking you for is having the ability or rather being brave enough yeah. to take a stand and say I'm going to do this thing a lot of people a lot of people in positions of power they've got the resources the money the backing they will never do that because they'd rather wakeboard and jet ski. Sure. You, you, literally, you literally said, okay, I'm going to put this on pause because I have a mission, you know? So thank you for answering your calling is what I'm basically saying. And, and from, a, from one brother to another, I wish you all the best for this new journey that you're venturing on. Yep. You know, besides um, our fighter here, who you have our full support. <laughs> Yeah, on, on popcorn and cheese. <laughs> yeah, bro. And, 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 and in all honesty, I, I feel like what we spoke about, uh, all five of us today, was just like the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is home. This is home for, for, for you, Winston. This is sure. home for you, Malumet DZ. Anytime you want to come back, if there's anything you want to you discuss. Me yeah. Ma it, it, since I saw the hair. <laughs> Uncle D's. <laughs> hey, Pops with D's. You know? <laughs> yeah, man. Any, any, any time you want to come back, the, the door's always open uh, here at, at, at Beyond the Eye Studios. You Thank you for coming, honoring the invite and being here today. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Yeah, this has been a dope time. Thank you very much for keeping it cozy. And, you know, there's a lot of behind the scenes action. And, you know, we salute the guys that are not in front of the camera for making this happen. Mm -hmm. um, you know, once again, it's a team effort and yep. we're more than honored and privileged to be here. You know, we, this is an opportunity for us to have a conversation, to put it out there into the public, to say what we need to say. But, you know, it's always nice not having those probing questions. Mm -hmm. You know, well, where's this? Who did that? And it's just, mm -hmm. just kicking it with, 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 with the homies, man. Yeah, yeah. vibes. Yeah. Dope vibes. Appreciate yeah. that. Thank you very much. Yeah. Shout out for coming through and like everything that was said, I trust that it's going to resonate to the people that are watching and every seed that needed to be sown is sown. It's going to get watered and then that tree is going to grow. Oh, Evangelii. <laughs>
Yeah, Jesus Christ. K- 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 K. <laughs> yeah, Evangel is God. That's where we are. So, okay. KK. 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 Cool kicks, by the way, gents. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Come on. Dutch, you wouldn't say anything, bud. Ah, thank you. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Yeah. Our shoes don't pass 10 hours here. They come in the, 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 the DA white and blue. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, he knows him, Sha. A fighter. Yeah, he knows a fighter, him. she's a fighter. Yeah. <laughs> Nina, those are Nadeko colors. <laughs> <laughs> That's my little show. <laughs> uh, IFP, girl. <laughs> Guys, but on a serious note, this is uh, from us to you guys for everybody that has been sleeping on you guys. Yeah, man. And your work, your efforts, everything you guys have been doing. Uh, everybody on the show, we are people from the South. Yeah. And if you remember, people of the South that had a show with a guy called Dali Tambo. Who used to give people pillows. I don't know why, but this show gives you pillows for the yeah. people that were sleeping on you. Ah, yeah. yeah. So, so that when you rest your head while thinking of changing the game, you know that we appreciate you guys here. And yeah. Many might have slept on you, man. They, saying, they might have slept on you as a boxer. They might have slept on you, you know, as a businessman. They might have slept on you <laughs> being a president. Trust. But here at Popcorn and Cheese, we are not sleeping on you, man. So when you lay your head on the pillow at night, ooh la la, you must know that uh, at Popcorn and Cheese, we don't you sleep on you. And they must unfreeze your accounts. No, no. They don't need to do that. We carry on now. Damn. Yeah. The man so, said so we got it. Oh, Let me unfreeze it. <laughs> Yo. Uh, I'm gonna go start at bank. Cryptocurrency is the future. <laughs> Shout Yo, out. Man. Shout out. Yo, man. Uh, Popery. Lavender, what is it? H. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Happy New Year. Happy 2024. We yes, hope uh, all your goals, missions, ambitions come to fruition. Uh, hey. Remember, hey, remember that this is the year of change, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we've got these uh, two uh, uh, gentlemen here with us today. We're not necessarily saying this is the change you need, but you do need change. Yep. Guys, this year is about being intentional about wanting to change our lives. Mm-hmm. So I'm encouraging all people. A lot of times it's, it's seen as young people, young people, young people. I love the fact that a lot of young people have gotten behind and a lot of people, young people have registered to vote. So please, when it's time to go and vote, let's go. Go. Doc, you know what I wish we could do? I wish we could host voting parties. Doc, they must let us host a tent uh, or something. Yeah, a vote like the IEC must let us host a, a voting station. No, but why are you talking about letting? Don't wait for permission. Do it. Let's do it. Just do yeah, it. Yeah, we must host a voting station. <clears throat> Let's. I vote in Mondio. I vote in Mondio. Say, vote. Just do it. Let's rock some. In the south. Something in the south. In the south. Yeah. Yeah. We no. we we vote at the same place in Mondio. They, just just do it. You guys are yoke. You guys need to be. No, just do it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Come You're on. correct. We you should do that. Hundred percent. All right, we're gonna tick that. <laughs> All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Titi, is there anything you want to plug quickly before we close it down? Uh, I don't want to plug anything. I missed you guys, and I hope everybody is going to yeah. have a fantastic year. And thank you guys for this. This was amazing. And bro, this year, I feel to, uh, what a way to start the year. Hey, bro. Bro. We're we're changing everything. My I brother, this I don't, year. I don't care what comes after this. This is the best episode for the year, 2024. Yeah. Hey, Robert the boy. Shout out Flavor Tron, you already know. New music coming out, times three EP, new boys in the block that we're putting on. My vest and my silver. Look out for those boys. Let's go. Issue. Let's go. There's a guy called My Vest and My Silver. Yes. So one is named after Bulletproof Vest and one after Bullet. Oh, wow. uh-uh. So, ladies and gents, uh, <laughs> just to close it off, hey man, before we close it off, is there anything you'd like to plug? Is there anything you'd like to say to the cheese gang out there? I'll start with you, Uncle Winnows. Look. Thanks for an awesome show. Yeah. We appreciate the opportunity. We appreciate you guys making us feel comfortable, making us feel welcome. And over and above that, we appreciate how high you keep the standard, you know, because okay, you goodness. guys represent yourselves well and you represent where you're from well and you represent the country well. And we appreciate that. Thank you. Sure. Uncle Winston. Yes. Yes. Well, as... This is where I need to plug 
as the adapter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, that's my superhero name given to me by uh, the Honorable MZ. What's yours, Winston? Main switch. Ah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pops. <laughs> See what you did there. Huh? What is that? The, what is this song? Netflix. Uh, it does like that. power. Yeah, something like a Netflix. No. Kukum. No. That's Kukum. You were saying Kukum. Like that. Oh, there's two the different. There's oh, it's a different. Yeah, yeah active. What do they call it? Um, the, the right. Um, Mnemonic. Yeah, one of those, what does it make? Putting the right emphasis on the, you, you put the wrong emphasis on the right syllable. Yeah, so emphasis Did and syllable. explain what the design was saying? <laughs> <laughs> emphasis. So the, the different... <laughs> yes, afflictions and... Yeah, yeah. Mm. So private school emphasis. School. Yeah, private school. School. I, I, I just, so that's why we get each other, guys. Yeah. It's okay. It's oh, okay. Anyways, from my side... It's takeover season. Yes. Um, we're changing the game. Yes. We're serious about it. And if you don't believe it, stay tuned. Um, we'll <laughs> have those conversations on the other side of the finish line. Yeah. Uh, we're serious about what we're saying. We're serious about what we do. Um, we're taking over the streets, business, politics, social sphere, everything. It's going to be lit. It's going to be something that's never been seen before. And that's what makes it exciting. Yeah. It's a first of its kind. We have a little bit of leeway to make our mistakes where we can. But as we streamline and as we perfect it, it's a journey for everybody. So let's get it. Let's, All let's right. It. In the words of the legend himself, 60 cents. If the bus driver is drunk, don't just sit there. Get up, move him out the way and take control of, of his cooler box. <laughs> <laughs> So you can understand him better. <laughs> so yeah. you can see through his lenses. That's what. Police. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, from the corn that pops and the cheese that's great, we, we are, are Robo Pops and, and Jenge Puleti like and Jule is for Basca Winston. We, we are, are out. out. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Libitolaka Kim Moses Matute, and I am a product of NAFTA. What you see right now is not what I used to be. I was Wesley Snipes Black. Kere Warren Mosemola Black. Kere Tinted Windows Tsa VIP Protection Black. Kasebrisa NAFTA, look at me now. Chovela, Libitolaka Kim NAFTA. Kidra the skin care products, you understand? Uneven skin, dehydration, the rash, naftal cream. Kalamine wishes it could do the things that it does. Naftal has been harnessed from the healing ingredients Tsa Moringa. It's got Moringa, it's got cayenne pepper, Bona Joano, and just a sprinkle of turmeric. Ah, green bar. I'm sorry, with respect, my brother. We have set the bar higher. Naftal cream. One wish or regret. Go with it, man. Chubaba out. Can naftal cream. Immunula complexion. You know, even in places where you shouldn't usually use cream, if you use naftal there, it does wonders. I used to be Tswana. Now I'm half vendor. Naftal. It's like a shiny, sir. It's like a moisturizer. If you don't believe me, let's hear some of these statements. Kupegia pearl. Also, why, why are you... Man, what's happening with you? Why aren't you hot? What do you mean, why am I not hot? Oh, now it makes sense. Well, I use naphtal cream and it keeps me cool at all times. I even use it on my armpits. I haven't yeah. swelled in the last 10 years. You should try it. It will save you from a lot. Heat protection naphtal cream. Ongusha. Eh? Crime protection naphtal cream. Yeah, and today you know what you moves chakarat. Hey! Twakara! Fun. Fun, 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 fun. Son, 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 Come close. Right. Come back, man. Yeah. Yo, iPhone must look. Start the picture quick. Look, send a little bit away. Watch. I'm going to look at the poems. Thank you. Yeah, no, this is for the side. Enough to tell cream.
Are you in a dry relationship? It's just an after. Are your brakes squeaking? It's some a really nafta. Naftal cream, a skincare routine by Naftal himself. A root for a naftal. It's a baby girl. It's a baby boy. It's a naftal out This thing. It's a rubber sting sanoti. Naftal. Cream yamanyora. Not allowed in prisons. Because waka it's as a naftal. Ukatwa in between the bars. Naftal cream. We have a pyramid scheme. Online shops. Pakistani exclusively shops, not Bangladeshi, Pakistani. Naftal Kri. Naftal Kri. I agree. When I saw you, we agree. Robo Pops. I'll be some cheese girl, I'm a cheese boy there. We motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, now my LOL. So we both got gang and we blessed as hell. See a Lala story. Pitsin, I'm a guest, and nice said more. You want my bundles, not of choice. That it's in Pop Pops and Robot Boy. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese.